You hope I enjoy my Monday. Well, I definitely, I definitely uh, had a very good start to the Monday. <laughs> now, here comes the fun part. I'm trying to figure out. If anybody shows up to the live, how the heck am I going to be able to figure this out? That way. Oh, like that right there. Since we already... Hey, Asterian guy. What's going on, man? Does, the, does it look too bright or something? Does it look like blown out? I'm driving, dude. <laughs> Uh, what's going on? Hey, from Boston. Uh, uh, the baby Brooklyn telling you, hey, from Plymouth. Brad, what's going on, man? RevX still, dude, are you still working? Holy smokes. Looks fine to me, but on 480. I can't tell, like, like visually. To me, visually, it looks like it's garbage. All right, Mets. Oh, look at him. See? Mets can't help himself. I'm actually in Stoughton. Oh, dude, that's, that's, that's a riot. My, uh, my uncle used to work at the uh, Speedy in Stoughton. That's funny. Yeah, you thought I see. <laughs> you know what's funny is you thought you thought that I sounded like I was from Mass. That's awesome. That's obviously my uh, that's obviously my my Bostonian you know thing happening. Plymouth only like 30, 30. Yeah, I know, huh? Isn't that nuts? Yeah, dude, the, these guys have been going nuts on these things. <laughs> Peyton, what's going on, man? Aren't they hooking up an offshore underwater power line in Plymouth soon? I have no idea. I have no idea, man. What I do know is uh, finally, I guess, they're, they're uh, closing down or have closed down or in the process of closing down our nuclear power plant, which I don't know, I don't know how I feel about that other than the fact that our taxes are going to go boom. Mo Bay, 876. What's going on, man? We should bath sometime, no doubt. Are you going to race the Euro truck? Busy, don't be doing that. Am I going to race the Euro truck? Yes, sir, I am. But I I, I don't think I'm going to race. <laughs> They've been really interested in this thing. Did you know there is a Brooklyn, Ohio? No. Right. That's the power cable com coming. Simulation Gamer. What's going on, man? Stoughton taxes. Yeah. Supposedly, uh, Plymouth taxes are the highest around. As far as I'm aware. I think even uh, Duxbury is lower than us. You know, good old deluxe baby. Brooklyn's my daughter. That's awesome, man. That's cool. Yeah, uh, that's that's similar to uh, Joe Daddy's garage. You're definitely getting what? One of these things? Paying what's going on. You're super jealous. Don't be, man. It's all good. Really, I thought Sharon. You thought Sharon? It's like Deluxe Berry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ducks Berry. Yeah, I call it Deluxe Berry. Gavin, what's going on, man? 
Mobe, that's awesome. I'm like totally. I mean, granted, it's been it's been years since I've gotten my hands on any kind of um, road rocket, I guess you'll call it. But I have got literally so many plans for this thing. I mean, obviously, you can see we've already got some upgrades already for it. I mean, what do you think? Is anybody liking? Is anybody liking that set of wheels right there? I think those wheels are absolutely badass. If the thing would focus on it, maybe you could see what it actually looked like. Focus is terrible on this thing. Come on, there we go. Now there's some focus for you. I think those wheels look sick. Versus these, I think if these came in chrome, maybe it would be better. You know, but. I'm kind of liking uh, the look of that right there. Oh, it's so weird. I, I almost just threw this thing down. Got to realize there's a certain way that I've got to treat this. I can't just, like, toss it on the bench like a monster truck. You got to, like, lay it down nice. But, I mean, the stiffness of this thing, oh, my God. I have no idea. I have no idea how this thing is going to drive. I mean, just touching the suspension, you can see just the lightest little touches. Actually, it's, it's suspension. You probably guys, you guys probably can't see it on, online, but I mean, I'm just like lightly touching like each little corner and I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing flex. I'm seeing like suspension travel, which is nuts. Just a light little touch, which is probably good. I think it's the uh, front. I think it was the front left shock. I think this one had air in it. Can't remember now. One of them had air in it. These guys are so loud, I can't even hear it. But you can actually feel it. Is it this one? You know, it's funny. Now I don't feel it. That's weird. That's weird. It magically fixed itself. But they've been coming over and they've been buzzing after this thing, pushing the wheels around. Because obviously, you know, now there's something new on the table, something small. Can you do me a huge favor and just roll the wife's max onto the table? I want to see if hers does what mine does. What do you mean? Just give it like a, a push? Let me just pop this off the table for a second. What are you what are you looking for? Like I don't know what you're looking for. Watch out, little vectors. You, you're in the way, buddy. Go that way. What do you mean? Oh, you, you're talking about that? Like the chug, chug, chug? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. That's the motor, man. That's the motor doing that. <laughs> this thing is looking pretty beat, isn't it? You know what's funny is the camera actually makes this thing look pretty good. It's making it look like it's got no scars and it's all nice and shiny. And But my wife has actually put this through the ringer a little bit. She's just learning. So she's doing the, uh, the full trigger. Um... Just the full trigger. Like, you know, she goes over a bump and or a uh, goes over a jump, not a bump, goes over a jump. She sends it and just like keeps the trigger pulled. And I'm just like, no, because all I can all I can hear is I can hear just carnage. But each time it hits, it survives. Oh, I keep forgetting. Got to be got to be careful. I don't know. What can this thing take? You know, I, I don't want to I don't want to beat on this thing. It's so weird looking at something that's like uh, seemingly fragile. Like you know, the sticker on the box says fragile. So I'm, I'm like, you know, I'm like, I feel like I'm almost afraid to touch it. Am I, am I, 
Are my sausage fingers going to be okay touching this thing? I don't know, man. Got some... I don't know. Dude, just an on-road car is going to be way different to be uh, operating here. But I tell you, man, this thing, this thing is pretty damn fluid. I am super pumped to be ripping this thing. A floating servo mount. That's kind of weird to me. I don't know. Not not used to this kind of. Not used to this kind of stuff. It is sweet looking though. One of the things I got to do is I got to keep the uh, mouse over here because obviously like what you guys don't know is my computer is like way over there. So I am actually reading on the screen whatever you're saying because obviously my TV actually gets your comments faster than my own damn computer that's streaming. What is the RC you are showing? Oh, Brad, this is the, um, the Habao uh, EPX. The uh, truck they just released. This thing right here. That. I figured maybe, a maybe, maybe I could actually wrench, but not having any uh, moderators on here. Asterion's a moderator and Metz is a moderator, but uh, they're disposed, indisposed right now or something like that, whatever the word is. Must be Italian. What? I must be Italian? What size spur? Dude, I don't even know yet. Big. wonder if it's got a number that I can clearly see. It would be nice if it was numbered, huh? Nothing on that side. There we go. So it is. Oh, wait a minute. That can't be it. Where is it? There's a number on there, but I can't I can't read it. It's like I can't I can't see it. We may have to take a picture of it. So I'll take a picture and see if I can see it. Does look like there's something on there, but I can't can't really tell. Nah, it doesn't even show up. Isn't that messed up? Took a picture of it and I can't even see the picture. I have no idea how many teeth other than the fact that I'd have to individually count or maybe look, maybe I could look in the manual, huh? Maybe that would help. Maybe I could look in the manual. This is going to be the first time I've actually cracked open a manual too. So this is kind of, this kind of freaking me out a little bit because I am not somebody that cracks open a manual either. So I got to put this body together. And it's 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 put together by screws, so and it's got bracing and all this other stuff, and I have no idea. I don't even know where the screws are. I'm assuming the screws have got to be in this pack because the braces are in there. Oh no way, dude! There's actually a pinion. Oh sweet, they gave me a pinion. I'm happy about that. At least I'll be able to run it now. Paint it orange or black. What? This thing? Nah. 
know what's funny is I almost wish I did get the clear body now, though, because I would run this clear. But I'm going to end up getting a body for it uh, anyway. I'm going to see what I can get, but I'm not interested in going Euro. So probably what I'll end up doing is I'll go with a um, – I would like to actually get like a uh, 69 Camaro body for it. I think that would look pretty sweet. Paint a camo. Yeah. Habao EPX. RevX, what's going on, man? Just hanging by the side. We don't we don't need manuals. Yeah. It's one of those things, but it, it's also one of those things where I kind of want to do this thing. It's it's a little bit of justice that it needs. I have no idea. Like again, I don't I don't even know. I'll I'll try it. I'll try to muddle through it. But dude, it's like a pile of body panels. It's like I mean it's only four what four panels? I thought there were five panels. Am I lose did I lose one already? Yeah, I did. <laughs> there are five panels. I wonder if this has got that stuff on it. I think it does. Yeah, I think it does. It's got that I think it's got that protective coating on it. It's kind of hard to tell. Yeah, it definitely does. Got a little bit of wrinkling happening there. So, yeah, this is, this is different. This is definitely different. Not what I'm used to. I got to grab that other body panel. Of course, daisies right by my feet, as usual. But see him over there? I don't know if you can see him over by the, over by the DB Pro. He's getting into a fight with it. He usually does that. Goes over there and he picks a fight with, you know, one of the vehicles. What the heck was that? I know you can't see that because this box is messing things up. Maybe I should just keep it, like, way over here. <clears throat> Come on. Move over. There we go. Got to kind of keep that in shot, right? So people know what I'm working on. Dude, I haven't done I haven't done a wrench like live. Have I ever actually ever done a wrench wrench in live? I think I have. It's hard because when you when you you know you don't want to ignore people. You definitely need one for certain vehicles. Was it a lot? Waiting for my credit. Okay. I'm trying to follow. I don't know what's going on here. Oh, those robots are uh, vectors. They're actually they they the autonomous ones. They uh they don't they don't need anything. They just basically need need a, a supply supply of power. You can see he's flipping out over there in the background. Incredible Mac, what's going on, man? Uh, Brooklyn, are you are you talking to me or are you talking to Brad? I can't tell. That's one of the things, man. The the chat only stays up for like literally a couple of seconds. I don't know if you're asking me. Are you, if you're asking me if this was a kit, no. It, it came 80%. All assembled. Ready to rock. Just throw some, some electronics in it and rip it. If that's, that's who you're asking. Yes, talking to you. <laughs> well, it's funny because as soon as I turn my head, I can't see nothing. All right. Then been here for a few minutes, and now I'm popping off again because it's quite late over here. All right. See you later, Styrian. Have a good one, man. Uh, 
I don't know if you can hear the um, my own voice in the background. It's it's so I know whether if I've lost audio or not. I try to keep it down to like volume one so that it doesn't you know bug anybody. But there's there's been a bunch of times for some strange reason that I've lost audio. Yeah, dude. The, uh, uh, yeah, I almost called you chief again. Jesus. Beardsley, yeah. I um as far as uh as far as a road uh little I'm just gonna call this the road rocket. As far as a road rocket goes, man, I'm like um it's been years. It's been years since I have put my hands on one of these things. But I'm um what's weird is I'm totally pumped about it. Right now I can see like looking line of sight down the line it looks like the back left wheel has just the slightest amount of extra toe like maybe like an eighth of a turn <laughs> and obviously you know when it comes to road stuff all that matters and then on this front the fronts look front looks pretty even like obviously depending upon where you put it but when you're when you're straight lining it Looks like it's pretty even. Right about there. I gotta figure out. I gotta figure out uh, tires. Whether I'm gonna run these or if I want to run the uh, Habao off roads. The Habao off road tires that I got for it. <laughs> Dude, that would look nuts. <laughs> That's why I got those. I didn't get these as a joke. I well, I mean, I did, but I got these to to rip on this thing. I got those, and then I've got my, uh, I got these, and I know, if people know me, they know what that's for. And then, where's my other tire? I got these right here. These are my aqua treads, my directional aqua treads. These may end up being what I put on these rims and then obviously i'll put these tires that you know belong on the stock wheels that came with it i'll just mount those up on those you know just because so i can run it as is i guess you know it would look awesome <laughs> with the blue ones <laughs> dude it would look awesome these aren't these aren't glued either you know what i mean just peel these babies off throw them on these wheels you know what though? You know what's funny though? Check it out. It's gonna have a cambered stretched look to it. <laughs> Got camber. There we go. <laughs> Check it out. Check it out. Bam. Habao blue. The wheels themselves, they're a uh, like they're like a um what they're like a gunmetal uh finish. And depending upon the lighting, they have a very slight um very slight like a uh, gray blue tint, but they're mint. Look at these things, man. These wheels are sick. Oh, excuse me. Need to have some more iced tea. Um, haven't seen anything as far as a kit, right? Um, what it comes with, it's it's AT, it is ATR, like what you were saying. So right there, that's that's actually how. It come. So they'll come. Uh, come on, focus. The focus is terrible here. Come on. Focus on this. Focus. There we go. Oh, what's going on with the focus? But you can see it comes with either no body, a clear body, the pearl body, or the yellow body. And the other thing that's cool about it, right, is uh, you can get... 
just, you know, straight, obviously from them, it's always nice. Uh, they do have the optional body kit that you can get, which is uh, part number, optional pads. No, it's not listed. Standard parts. Yeah. So that would be part number 22, 329 for this little baggie of goodies right here, which, you know, basically just makes it so you can put on a regular body, which is, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll probably do both. I'll run, I'll run this body obviously for all its tests and whatever. And then, you know, once I, you know, want to rip it myself and I want to, you know, make me make use of these bad boys right here, you know, go off road. <laughs> Oh my God, I'm telling you right now, I I would love to be able to rip this thing at the track tomorrow. That would be that would be friggin' epic. There's just so much you gotta do. Like, I mean, I know I could get it done, but that means I gotta stop my mouth right now and just get moving. But there you go. You can throw that wheel on there. How, oops, sorry, you're not talking to me. Brad, dude, Brad, Brad, there's certain things you got to know, man. Um, when you're talking about something that looks like this, yes, it's going to have full bearings, man. It's going to have full everything. What track am I talking about? Uh, Reckless Hobbies in Weirham. Reckless Hobbies in Weirham? Wareham. The place is awesome. You're off tomorrow, you'll watch. <laughs> Should rig up a body with lights and a light bar and a, and a show truck and keep it nice. Dude, you know what would be a riot? Could tow, you could tow this behind my uh, DC-1. That's what I meant, damn auto correct. <laughs> yeah, reckless hobbies, yep. Why have you ever been there? That's my that's my shop, man. If I have missed people's uh, comments, I'm wicked sorry. I'm too far away from the computer. <clears throat> yeah, they do. Have you seen my video? I just did a um, Brooklyn. I actually just did a Christmas video for them or a holiday video for them. So... Uh, if you go on, if you go on their website, uh, Rich Holman, what's going on? Yes, dude, we are here again. Dog, oh, Rich, Rich, how could we not be here? Look at, look at what came, man. Come on, guy. Of course, we're gonna be here again. God. Excuse me. We're gonna drag in some other people here. We got nineteen on the stream. We need more. Oh. Gavin loves the infraction. Nice. Do you have one? I haven't seen Kit with Bushing since I... Yeah. Yeah, the last time I saw a Bushing Kit was... Um, was one of my... I think one of my RC-10s. No, I'm sorry. I think it was my Ultima. I think my Ultima was a bushing kit, and then I bought a pack of bearings after the fact. My Ultima, my Kyosho Ultima. Fairly confident. I mean, we're going back years. Fairly confident that was a bushing kit. Isn't that a riot, dude? Things used to be bushing. Is that the... Yes, it is. Yep. Dude, I'm telling you, I mean, look at Rich. Look at this thing. This thing is sick. I kind I did an online uh, or a live unboxing of it, but look how flat it is, dude. 
I mean, these tires right now, the tires don't even have foams in them. It's literally just set to kind of just, you know, roll on the thing here. Nothing's like really set. Um, and this was what I was throwing in. That's what I'm throwing in for the uh, for its power. For its power. Not power. There's no eyes. Power. You got a 5,400 kV, man. So this thing should move a little bit, maybe. 60 amp, max 10. I think it might move, hopefully out of its own way. This, this is, so this is the vehicle that I am going to learn how to drift on. After I saw that Red Cat video of uh, that dude drifting under the, um, the, the sitting bench there, for some strange reason, I don't know, I've seen other drifting, but it kind of just caught my eye and I was just like, you know what? I've never drifted before, so I like I knew this was coming. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna drift that EPX. I'm gonna I'm hopefully what I'm gonna find out is I'm gonna find out if I'm if I can be allowed to put this on the carpet track and just see if I can run it on a carpet track. I know it's not designed for that, but I would like to know if it could take it, you know. Yeah, it's gonna scream. I know, man. Nice, love the power. You know it. Get to building. I know, dude. But that's the thing. I just, what I hate is that when you start building, that's why you literally, I need somebody next to me. You have somebody next to me, you can field the questions. That's why I should be doing the um, StreamYard or, or Zoom or whatever those uh, double things are. So that somebody else can like field all the questions. That way, you know, it'd be cool because you could swap off. Somebody could wrench, somebody could field questions, and then swap off and do whatever, you know? Ultima. Yep. So I got to figure out this body. Obviously, I know where stuff goes. It's pretty damn obvious. Probably don't even need this manual. But, hey, you know, if somebody's got questions, I don't know, does it even show how to put the body together in this thing? Like, I'm doing serious. I, I've never, like, literally really cracked one of these manuals. It's like, this, this feels so foreign to me to open this, but I almost feel like I have to because this is something that I haven't touched. This isn't, this isn't monster truck. This isn't crawler. This is, this is like, this is foreign. Literally. You know what I mean? But it's so damn pretty, though. Oh, my God. I will say, these... So, Habao does pretty mint manuals. The um, parts explosions, like... I'm, I don't look at many manuals, but... It looks pretty sweet. Just like literally everything is just exploded and all the like screws and everything look like they go where they go, kind of. They got the little trace. Hey, look at that body assembly. Got some stickers. So you're supposed to put the stickers on first? Well, that's kind of weird. Ah, oh, man. You know, it's nuts. The ESC that they're showing in this thing. The ESC that they're showing in this thing. Doesn't it look like it's a, like a 160 amp or like a 190 amp ESC? I mean, look at that thing. It looks like a beast. Look at it when it's in the chassis. It's like, boom. It's like, that can't be right. Look at how, like, how big that ESC is. Does that mean like I got the wrong ESC? I'm supposed to get it by the size of the picture? So I really wasn't supposed to get a 60 amp. I was supposed to get a 160 amp. Damn it. I knew I did something wrong. 160 amp ESC, 6S, 8S. Why not? 
too. Can you imagine that? The thing would just explode. <laughs> oh, somebody asked uh, what the spur was. I figure if I if I somehow. It's literally right there, but I can't see it. You know what? It looks like it says... It looks like it says 60. I'm actually getting a good light on it right now. It looks like it says it's a 60 tooth. And then the pinion that came with it... Where's my knife? Where's my knife? I thought I had my knife right here. One of the vectors take my knife? No, it's right here. So the pinion that actually comes with this is a anyone 15 tooth so it comes with a 15 tooth pinion oh i'm sight a little 15 True Boys RC, what's happening, man? Hey, wait a minute. How do I know your name? Why is True Boys familiar? Oh, wait a minute. Didn't you, you message me or something? I think you did. True boys. How do I find that? Yeah, you did. Actually, I know you did. I was talking to you this morning, right? You spoke about my DBXLE video. I got a couple of them. Which one? Which one are you talking about? I think the most recent one that I did was uh, it was either ripping it in snow or when I took it over to the state forest. You did talk to me. Hey, um, snow bash. Yep, yep. Ripping it in snow. Yep. Doable. Wasn't that? Isn't that a killer picture right there? I did a, um, I threw it on Instagram. There was a nice shot that I actually took of it on Instagram. I thought it came out pretty mint. That one. I hate that Instagram, you can't go sideways. Focus. Come on, focus. There you go. That's a sick shot right there. That thing's hot looking. But anyways, um, true boys, there we go, 5,400 KV, figured maybe this would work. You know, it's funny, right? I'm looking in the manual. Not This is literally, true boys, this is the first time I've ever opened up a damn manual to actually look at it because I got to put the body together. I mean, it's probably going to be pretty damn obvious how things go, but, you know, I don't want to screw it up, but... When I was looking in the manual just to go, you know, find the body picture, came across what the ESC looks like in the picture, right? Did I, did I get the wrong ESC or what? That ESC looks like the goddamn ESC that's in my DBXLE. So I got a I got a 60 amp ESC. So does that mean I should have got a 160 amp ESC for this thing? You want to talk about some power? Let 
So we got to put this body shell together and I figured I'd try to do wrenching, but it's tough because I don't like, I don't like ignoring people. Bronx Savage. What's going on, man? I wish Axe original. That's why I didn't order it because of Axe. I can leave the Gen 8 stock. What? It would be fast with 160 amp? <laughs> Should I rip out the Spectrum setup that's in my DBXLE and throw it in there? <laughs> oh my God. Which oh on this thing I don't I can't tell if you're talking to me. These are the st these are the stock wheels right here. So I've known for a couple of months that this thing was coming. So I've been like messing around, getting some wheels like you know I've got the Habao blue tires for going off road with an on road car. We got some green little funky things. If anybody knows me, they know what this is for. Yes. Yeah, we are gonna. Come on, you know me. If you've seen my video, hey, uh, True Boys, I don't know if you like trucks or anything, like real trucks, but uh, go check out my burnout video with Big Black. But uh, these are the wheels that I decided to go ahead. You know, I purchased these things a couple months ago. Focus. Focus. Those things. Don't those things look nasty? These wheels look mint. Focus. Oh, uh, excuse me. Don't want to lose that little puppy. Smoke him. You know it, man. Burnouts. You know it, dude. All wheel drive burnouts. Yeah, they are. Yep. These things are so ultra light. Like when I picked up this wheel, like weight wise. Like when you like, you know, when you like do that, kind of like balance, what's nuts, they feel like they're the same goddamn weight. Like these wheels are mint. These, if these came, you know, if these came chrome out of the box, I'd, I'd probably be cool with it. Because, you know, obviously the real rigs, you know, they've got usually these are chrome. I think they missed the mark on that. It would have been would have been sharp, man. If they just if they just went that little extra step and threw and and threw some chrome on these things, you know what I mean? So otherwise, otherwise we're just going with these little bad boys. I mean, look at that profile focus. Look at that. Oh, these things are mint. They even sound good hitting the table. But there's like all kinds of like screws and washers and I, I don't know what the hell this stuff is here. Like what the hell is this? I have no idea. Bunch of just funky little tiny things. This is obviously, by the way it's packaged, you obviously know what this is. This is, this is all the body screws on how to put this thing together. That's a hell of a that's a hell of a lot of hardware. That's actually some weight right there. That, I swear to God, you know what? This pack of screws. So this right here, this weighs more than this wheel. Like I'm not kidding, man. The this this baggie of screws to put the body together weighs more than this one one of these wheels. Oh, you died, huh? Only child. Ugh. Chrome is the way to go. Yeah, it is, man. Yeah, those things are plastic. Yeah. Oh, you talking these? You talking these? Yeah, no, these are metal, man. Those are definitely metal. Facts, chrome looks... Yeah, you know it. But uh, True Boy, go go check out that video I was just telling you about. My uh, it's it's on my Big Black. 
You might like it. You can come back to the stream. You know it. Patrick Falk, man. Pretty torn between this. Ooh, yeah, that's tough. The DBXLE 2.0 is a way different animal compared to the Hyper MT2. The Hyper MT2 is a straight out thrasher. So if that's how you want to drive, then that's what you want to buy. If you want a tuned one fifth scale, animal that's designed for sand and tracks then the dbxle 2.0 is the way to go this is all talk to text so who knows what it came out like I can't. I do what I'm telling you. I can't type for anything. It takes way too long. Like, it's so much easier to just have a conversation. So I use talk to text all the time, which gets screwed up. Yo, you watched the burnout? I, did you watch the burnout? You're talking about my truck, right? Uh, True Boys, did you see the burnout that I did with the, um, with, I did with the uh, Mojave too? The Mojave was actually chained to Big Black. It was awesome. That's what that's what happened to these uh these hoons right here. Check out the blowout, man. That is one hell of a blowout. This one, this one kind of blew out too. There's still a little bit of light life left in this one. <laughs> that was literally like the second run on these hoons. Oh, ah, guy, you know, it's just having fun, you know. Did you get the white body? I, you know, what's funny. It was the toss up. So this is the white body, right? Uh, it's the pearl. I thought the pearl actually looked pretty sweet. But now after I got the thing, uh, I was kind of almost wishing that I got the, um, the clear because I would have left the body clear and just threw stickers on it. Because obviously I didn't realize like the whole, you know, the whole sticker pack and everything, all the windows and everything, they're all, you know, they're all blacked out to give that, to give that effect. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I think, I think the clear body, just throwing stickers on a clear body, like if somebody does that, it would look, to me, it would look sharp. Just because you'd be able to see the inner workings of the truck. And I think I I actually like that look. I like actually being able to see the inside, you know. Yeah, I think in the same had plenty of life. <laughs> <coughs> You know what? Uh, hey, Paul, you're actually wrong on that one. The uh, the bleach white was actually used to uh, prep the um, my driveway because my driveway uh, it's a mechanics driveway, meaning it's got oil on it. So what I did is I used the bleach white to prep the area. Then I actually used bleach um, as an additive, just like you're saying. And you got you to gotta admit, Paul, man, it actually came out pretty mint, didn't it? The best part, I think, was the whole thing about how I did the whole setup, uh, hooking it up to Big Black, because people people were literally like, yeah, right, dude, this, is, this thing is not going to pull that truck. But I made it look like that was the intent. But then literally, like, just full on just burned it up.
again, uh, not to be ignorant, but if I'm not, if I'm missing uh, people's comments, please just re-comment. I just, it's hard to, I never realized how hard it was to, to keep track of this stuff. Because I'm actually, I'm looking at my TV and, and I'm sure people know that the comments disappear pretty damn fast. And trying to look at my computer, which is like way over there. So what's everybody up to tonight? Anything good? WJB111. What's up, man? When the chat gets full on, it's hard to keep up. Yeah, dude, it definitely is. And like I said, I don't, I don't want to... Working on... Uh, True Boys, you're working on your Mojave video? Just relaxing, looking at parts for my K and N. K and N, DVXL. <laughs> yes, sir, almost finished. Awesome, dude. Still working. Uh, RevX, you're California, so yeah, I get lost. Dude, why are you working so late? Clients in last minute. Ah, yep. Damn FedEx. Yeah, no kidding, man. FedEx was supposed to deliver this thing last Friday. That's why I was flipping out over the weekend because I knew it was literally sitting in a truck doing nothing but sitting there. I had all the plans for this weekend. Was going to blast it out. Was going to build it up. But I just said, screw it. Lost interest. And then it came. And then just go on your charger, man. Stop this refusing stuff. Just go on your charger. Oh, my God. What? <laughs> Yeah, don't you love those last-minute changes, man? But, you know, when it's a uh, paying client, that's that's why I just I don't deal with that stuff anymore. I just don't. Hopefully, those last-minute changes are gonna they're gonna pay, right? You're a big fan of bleach white. Only thing that cleans white. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Cl cleans those white letters, man. That's what the nine has on it. I'm I'm definitely big into uh, white leather tires. Even my so like I've got brand new tires sitting in my trailer, ready for big black for this springtime. So what I'm doing is I'm just chewing up the what's left of the tires. Obviously I'm chewing them up, but I'm chewing up what's left of the tires on uh, big black for this winter time. I, I God I think I've had those tires on this truck for five years. When you buy a real, when you buy a real mud truck tire, I mean, you're talking the lugs are like two inches thick when you first buy the buy the tire. And right now, I'm still passable, like big time passable. Like I could probably actually go another year, but I think it's time to swap out the tires and and have the uh, white lettered tires now on big black. It's it's gonna look sweet. I, I miss that look. I miss that look on everything, but that's, you know, that's, that's that old school, I guess, in me. Oh, the true boys, they, um, they white letter ties. That's friggin' awesome. Are they still, are they still here or is he still here? Is he more than one person? Like is True Boys like a, a couple of people or is he just like or is he one one person? Of course you're here. <laughs> I thought you took off. Are you just you or are you like a couple of guys? Me and my son. Oh, dude, that's awesome. That is perfect. How old's your boy?
to put it in perspective, my youngest daughter is 19 going on 20. Like she's going to be 20 next month. Holy crap. He's four. Ah, oh, dude, that's awesome. And your wife joins too. Now, see, that's that's awesome, man. Yeah, dude, time flies big time. Like here, you know, it's funny. You know how they, you know how they do all the Facebook stuff, right? So I got a reminder today on Facebook. So I'm gonna show you. This is my daughter nine years ago. Where's the Facebook bell? Now, see, you know what? See, even Sen Racing's showing me some love. <laughs> Come on, Sen Racing. You guys are friggin' awesome. You need to hook a brother up. Let's see. Where are the reminders? There was, there was a notification on here. Am I looking in the wrong thing here? I'm just trying to show you guys. Where would the reminders be? Do they just like disappear? Oh, there we go. Is that it? Oh, this is an old picture of my car. So this is this is a reminder. That's an old picture of my car right there. Focus. All right, don't focus. Phone is terrible. It's all broken. Screen is destroyed. The actual, the Max actually broke this phone. Where I, where are the, where are the reminders? Come on. Sen Racing top fan. I'm all about that. Oh, come on. Where's... Well, I guess it's not going to show me. Well, anyway, it was a picture of my daughter from like nine years ago. It was cute. Why does that stuff just literally just disappear into like Facebook nothingness? I hate when you can't find something that you're looking for. Yeah, whatever. Is what it is. Don't don't focus. Yeah. Lane, what's going on, man? Hey Lane, check it out. My first road racer since like I was a uh mid to late teen. Or I should have called a road rocket. It's gotta be a road rocket. <laughs> okay, don't focus. Yeah, I've owned a 69 Camaro since I was 19 years old. What, do you need to go out? Huh? This is this is my pup right here. She's bugging me to go out. What you want? What you want, little girl? What you want, little girl? I know, I know, I know. I know. All right, all right, all right. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. I'll let you I'll let you out. I'll let you out. Alright, wanna go out? Wanna go out? Alright, come on. Hold on, chill out. Just go easy. Easy. You don't have to flip out. All right. Go. Go. Go ahead. Go, Haley. You wanted to go. Go. Haley, go. Fine. Whatever. Uh, it's a racer. It's actually a racer, but um, I am going to drift this thing, though. I'm going to drift it. I, do, I've just got so many plans for this thing. This thing is literally just going to be the test bed for, like, a whole ton of just things that I want to do with an on-road car. Like I said, I haven't had an on-road car forever, and I've, I've never drifted before. So I figured this will be the perfect, you know, way to learn how to drift. Oh, yeah, the thing, the thing playing inside the body? Yeah. It's uh, it's called a, it's called a vector. I've got two of them. They're just funny, man. Cause look at it. 
It like just messes with stuff like all day long. <laughs> he finds his way into like the weirdest little spots and he gets into fights with stuff. Not my fault. You're the one that went in there. Go away. There you go. Look, he even has angry eyes, too. He gets pissed. I've seen them used for drifting. Yeah, they, they, they're fun, man. Your 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 uh your boy actually would would probably like a uh, a Cosmo, uh if he does anything like with a tablet he can actually like control the little Cosmo they're just kind of cool it's cool tech you know what I mean it's stuff like you know we didn't have when we were kids we had we had like spoons and and, and kitchen silverware to go outside and play with you know <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah, you should check it out. Um, these little vectors right now, but uh, do 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 you do yourself a favor when you check it out, right? The uh, the name of the company is called uh, Anki or Anki, A N K I. And the only thing that you might want to really consider, um, obviously, being an RC guy, you're good with your hands. So um, these guys, the the company that made them, actually went out of business uh, stupidly. It, it was it was just stupid, like bad maneuvers but the company itself was awesome uh, i don't think that they had or they realized that they had this much of a following for these little guys here but do your research first to figure out whether if it's something you want to venture into because if you get one that there's no support um you, you're basically buying an end product do you know what i mean It almost looks like the front end. Doesn't that? Doesn't that look like it could be like the front end? I know it's the rear, but doesn't that look like it could be like, <laughs> it could be like the front end? And like glass is supposed to go right here. There you go. You can go in there. Don't play with knives. There you go. Just relax. Leave, listen, leave her alone. That's her bone. You don't have to be. You've got a bone right there. What's wrong with you? Your bone's right here. Daisy, right there. That's your bone. Six S. Oh, it's a different conversation. <laughs> A DeLorean body on it. You know what I was thinking would actually be pretty funny? Uh, Beardsley, you know, you know what vehicle I'm getting in in two years, right? Or 1.5 years? What about if I put that body on it? That'd be awesome. Yes, there you go, Rich. You got it right there. Bang. That's the one, man. Yep. A year and a half, that bad boy's going to be sitting right in my driveway. I don't care what it looks like. I just want one. I actually I actually like the way it looks. You know what's funny is when 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 that thing first came out, like I, I heard all the people like gasping and, and laughing and they, you could hear it. People were like, you know, oh, it's not the real truck. It's like, and I'm looking at it and I'm going, holy crap, that's literally the real truck. And I almost, I almost was amazed myself when, when he, you know, it was the real truck and I literally went right online, bang, pre-order because I just knew that that was the truck that I wanted. I've, I've kind of been in the mode of looking for another truck. It was going to be a um, F450, but I don't know. I guess maybe it's time to step into the electric age. I mean, I've stepped into the electric age all over the place over here, right? 
Uh, it used to be Nitro, like years back. But uh, I don't know. Big Black's doing fine, you know. And I think Big Black's gonna. Big Black is probably gonna last forever. And why not get the Cybertruck? I'm I'm all in. I'm 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 all I'm all in. There's there's no issue. I I like it. I like it. I mean, come on, dude. The the renditions people have been doing on this thing. Let's see. I think I got it on Instagram. Do I have it on Instagram? No. Uh, it's in my gallery, I think. And again, maybe not. Screenshots? Nope. Yeah, right there. Now, if you tell me that that thing doesn't look badass, look at that thing, man. And I know it's a Photoshop, but still, that thing is a goddamn billboard on wheels. I mean, look at that thing. That thing looks nasty. Oh, and, and nasty, nasty means good or sick or killer. It's all the same. It's all the same thing. Sometimes people don't know, like, different terminology. I mean, I don't know everything, but maybe, I don't know, is it a Bostonian thing? Cyber truck, you know it, man. What are we talking about? Dude, we're talking about literally everything and anything. Yeah, the cyber truck is awesome, man. Yep. Good for you, man. I'm glad you think that way. That's such a riot, Rich. You totally were in the zone about that. You have an HPI that has Cybertruck written all over it? That's awesome. They are actually drifting semis? Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised, man. Dude, when you see those semis do burnouts, wow. You want to talk about you want to talk about you want to talk about a goddamn burnout? When you watch a semi do a burnout, man. When that exhaust gets so goddamn hot, there's fire coming out of the top like a jet turbine. Holy crap. Yeah, the, the only thing, though, Lane, right? So that's all preliminary just trash. So I think there's things that we're, we're just not. Don't forget, it's just coming out. And Elon's not an idiot, so he's not, he's always, he's always thinking to, like when the windows broke, you know, yeah, he was like, oh, you know what I mean? He let out a couple of four, four letter words, but it's one of those things where, what was his attitude about it? I'm sure he was rip, you know, I'm sure he was rip SHI, you know, behind the scenes that the, that it actually broke, but um, it's that thing where. You know, nothing's perfect. And the thing about him is like he's always pushing. It seems like he's always pushing forward to make it better. And you got to think about innovation and all that stuff. I mean, you know, do I think like his his uh, Tesla cars kind of look a little funky without a front grill? But that's because for my entire existence, every single car had a front grill. So when they finally got rid of the fake grill that was on, what was it, the Tesla S series? It was just like, well, that thing is looking ugly now. But it kind of grows on you. And this Cybertruck, literally, there was no growing on me. It was literally, yeah, that's that's going to be sitting in my driveway. That's point blank. Boom, done. Um, yeah, I don't know. Things change, man. You know what I mean? Things change. He's always trying to better things. You know, nothing, nothing's ever going to be perfect, but, you know, whatever. Uh, you know, if you guys are still talking about the Cybertruck, you already know that the um, the 500 range is coming out first, right? Like the uh, two and three motor models, which um, obviously it's it's the three that I that I opted for, but um, they're actually pushing back the uh, single motor option. So two and three motor options 
are actually coming out first. So, so that's why I said a year and a half. So that's, that's what I'm thinking. Not that I need to interject anything. You guys know what you're talking about more than I do. I need to ask if you've owned your DB Pro longer than I have. Did you find any aluminum hubs for it? No, no. You gotta lane, you got you gotta figure this too, right? Because obviously I, you know, I'm a busy, busy guy, like as far as you know, just work wise and family and everything. So my whole life is an RC, you know what I mean? So it's like I don't have lots of time because with all the projects that I've got going that aren't this, there's like it's that joke, there's not enough time in there's not enough time in the world to get things done that you want to get done. You know what I mean? Go on your charger. Stop your complaining. Just go on your charger. Are you charging? Can't tell. I don't know what you're doing. I can't tell if he's charging or what. You only know about the RC, about the Cybertruck from me? That's funny. There's no way. <coughs> the rear hubs look like crap. Yeah. Well, you probably beat, you probably really beat the crap out of your stuff though, right? I don't have enough time. Like I got so many damn vehicles. I, I feel like I don't have time to beat the crap out of, you know, every single one. Just don't have the time, man. It's crazy. Gotta spend time with family. That's that's more important. Don't you growl. You know better than that. Your bone, listen to me. Your bone is right here by your feet. You take that one. That's yours. Don't look at me like that. That's your bone. You don't need to take hers. You're pretty rough on them. Yeah, I bet you are, dude. That's why I'm saying, man. Yeah, I know you talk about the Facebook thing and you don't wanna uh you don't wanna, you know, join Facebook or whatever, but I would love to see running videos of the stuff you've got. Big muscle, dude. Check it out. The EPX came in today. It's supposed to be here Friday. I haven't had my hands on a road car in, well, road truck, but I'm going to set it up as a car eventually. Haven't had my hands on a um, on a road anything for years, like since I was a, a teen. They are nutty droids. Yeah, they are. Matt's, what's going on, man? He's back. He's back. Yeah, Where's Tony tonight? Wow, we're up to 20 people and Tony's not Tony's not chiming in. What's Tony doing his own live stream? A roadrunner body? Oh. Oh, dude. That would be nice. Your Super Baja Ray hasn't been used. <laughs> yeah, see, man. Had to go pick. Had to go pick up a package, huh? Oh yeah. Just, just a package, huh? Yeah, it would be sick, wouldn't it, man? Might have to look into that. I'm gonna um. The plan is to go to the LHS tomorrow, and um, I got to get a servo for this thing, and then um, figure out what's what. 
like see if I can, you know, see what he's got for bodies that I can fit on there. Because obviously I've got the I get package, package, quotes, package. <laughs> Watch out, those spies are on here. Um, yeah, because this is the optional uh, body kit, so you can mount whatever you want. So I think that that that's pretty sweet. Uh, excuse me. Hey, Mets. No Tony tonight? It was from Asterian? <laughs> Watch out. It might be a bomb. Any 200 millimeter body would work, right? I don't know. I just want to take that. I just want to take it there and just see what he's got. Did I ever do? I'm sure somebody in here probably has. I don't have a Rock Ray. I have a um, a Camo X4, which is a Red Cat, which is basically a Rock Ray, right? Kind of, sort of. Just a Red Cat version of a low C. Boy, was that bad saying that? Our celebrity. <laughs> oh, he is. <laughs> Tony's Tony's uh Tony is pretty popular in the R RC uh industry. Hibau is impressing me. Dude, it's impressing me. I mean, they are impressing me too, man. Look at the look at the detail that's in this thing right here. I mean, other than the fact that they should have sent this thing out with chrome rims, if they sent this thing out with chrome rims, it would have been 100% like bam we don't need a set of you know aftermarket wheels but I like I said I knew I was getting those for this thing anyway so I, I when I saw the wheels that were on it I'm like ah those are plastic I'm like nah gray plastic that's garbage oh probably wasn't even talking to me about the rock ray <laughs> It's just a funny thing. You don't know who's talking to who. I wish it was like a way to figure it out. <laughs> yeah. If you're talking about this thing. Or if you're talking about the, the DB Pro. I'm not sure what, what's going on. GPS tracking, CCX, RC, engage. You got it, man. <laughs> he's home. De Says he's home dealing with the family. Yeah. Daisy, you're really going to town on that bone again, huh? Dude, you got to get on it, man. You got to get on it. I should be putting this body together. It says I got to put the stickers on first, but that means I got to take the plastic off, right? Because I'm sure it's got a plastic finish on it. I don't know if I want to put the stickers on. Do I actually have to put the stickers on? It's saying, it's saying in the, in, I actually do, Mats, I actually, Mats, for the first time, I actually had to crack a manual because, like, I'm looking at this body going, yeah, it's pretty straightforward, but I just didn't want to screw anything up. So it's, like, weird looking in a manual. Like, oh, what's this manual all about? HBX and WL. Yeah. The <laughs> only bad one is one 3D printed.
Yeah, it's tough, man. Men don't read manuals. Yeah. Sure they do. Mets, you trying to tell me if they didn't have a manual on women, you wouldn't read it? I already know the answer to that. <laughs> Guarantee. Guaranteed, man. The guarantee manual. I used to like kits better and more fun. Yeah, it is. It is fun to build. It's dot it's uh uh what was your name again? Who this is joking around. Who hasn't shown up to the chat? Oh, Dr. Chuck. I don't know where Dr. Chuck is. <laughs> Is Earl actually here? Did I did I see Earl was here? Hey, there he is. What's up, Earl? In the manual, and the, the manual will always be wrong. <laughs> I've read the manual on women over and over, still don't understand it. You know it. Yeah, Charles, you know I'm messing with you. Looking for uh, Dr. Chuck, calling Dr. Chuck. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's been, it's 21 now. You're always here? <laughs> That's awesome, Earl. Earl's a good guy, man. It's got some pretty crazy stuff going on. Dude, I don't know how you walk in your garage. You've got so many damn... I think it's you, right, Earl? You're the one that's like, literally, you got so many damn RCs that you're tripping over them. RC guy is getting big. <laughs> Dude, I've been getting big for a couple of years, guy. It's, it's my wife's cooking. <laughs> Yeah, dude, I can't wait to eat. I, well, obviously, it's not going to be on the road. It's not going to be a road thing. I'm going to be taking it to the track. You need another garage. <laughs> no kidding, man. Yeah, RevX is all about kits. I used to be, too. Um, but nowadays, it is nice to just grab something and rip it, you know? If you've got a technical mind, you, you know how to fix stuff anyway, so it doesn't even matter. Oh, my God, Daisy, stop that. Oh, oh. oh, hey, Mets. Mets, here's, here's the crazy part, dude. This is, this is something that's kind of pissing me off a little bit. Remember the uh, HRB? You know, the HRB deal? Well, it was a good deal. Do you realize I still have not received my batteries yet? Like, nope. My 6,500 still have not arrived. I'm kind of uh, getting a little, little annoyed. I know it takes a while. You haven't gotten yours either? I thought you got yours. That's not cool. I'm going to shoot them an email right now, actually. That ticks me off. Yeah, man, I... You, you you remember that that deal, right? Were you around for that deal that I had put out from HRB USA? The deal was actually a really good deal, twenty percent off. It was a a before a before Black Friday deal that literally they they 
laid out for me, which was pretty cool. And whoever. The accent is why I hop onto the slabs. <laughs> Kill mode, 2,900 KV motor. Well, if it says kill mode, that must be good. Give them the Bostonian angry. HR, HRB right here, dude. HRB USA. They, they're usually, they're, they've been pretty damn good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna send them a message right now. Find them what's what's going on here. Are you serious? You're sitting right next to me farting? Do you need to go outside? Come on. None of that. Stick it up my whole room. Get out. Go. 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 Get out there. Go fart outside. Holy crap. Literally. Holy crap. I just shot a email to HRB. Hopefully we can get a response here. Dude, people are going absolutely sick with these renditions of the Cybertruck. What the hell is that? The camper version? <laughs> There you go. There's a cyber truck for you with some tracks. <laughs> cyber truck with a lift kit. Uh, what's going on with the focus here? Yeah, you know it, man. Dude, I would love to have a uh, cyber truck. I mean, come on. Dude, check it out. Coast Guard? Coast Guard cyber truck? Come on. If people don't think that that thing looks sick, there's something wrong with them. I know it's all Photoshop, but still, it still looks good.
We even got the cyber hick. Hot tub in the back of the cyber truck. Oh, Charles, you're taking off. See you later, Charles. Sorry about that, man. I didn't see you. You could go for the hot tub one. This one was actually pretty cool. The Jurassic Park one. <laughs> Focus. Daisy, come on. Come on. Daisy, come on. Go. Girl. Are you better now? Huh? Did you get rid of them farts? <laughs> Cybertruck camper. Sure, they've got it, man. They got the uh, Cybertruck uh, camo versions right there. That looks like Minecraft. Cybertruck Minecraft. Uh, I think it's a pretty cool. You can make a Cybertruck RC from cardboard. There you go. Or actually, uh, Lane, couldn't you just make a Cybertruck from, from some real thin plexiglass? And then wrap it in like, uh, wrap it in uh, aluminum tape. It would look like a Cybertruck, right? I think that's an idea. Aluminum tape with some uh, plexiglass, real thin plexiglass. No, I couldn't. Sabotage truck, it looks like a sub. Yeah, you know it. Daisy, yeah. She finished eating the DBXL. Uh, she went outside for a little bit, so hopefully she uh, took care of whatever her little issue was. Dude, she was really stinking bad. She's chewing on that bone, and literally, I know you guys couldn't hear it, but you just literally hear <laughs> Like, come on, you kidding me? Knock it off. Killing me here. Are all these screws the same? Yay, it looks like they aren't. Oh no. Some of these screws are different. Oh, okay. Obviously, these are the brace screws. Alright, that was easy. Brace screws right there for this right here. What the hell is that Allen wrench for? You see the size of this Allen wrench? What the hell is this one for? What the hell on here? Oh, oh, oh. No, no. What is that for? I have no idea where that Allen wrench is supposed to go. How could that? Dude, that Allen wrench is no way that Allen wrench fits on this truck anywhere. That fits on nothing. They just give you like a free Allen wrench. A free massive Allen wrench. That doesn't make any sense. Seriously, what the hell, what the hell would that go to? There's nothing on this thing that says, what the hell size is this? There's nothing on this that says it would be a five millimeter wrench. At least I don't think there is.
Man, you actually expect me to put these tiny little washes on these things with these fingers? This doesn't work. I hear you snorting over there, dog. What you doing, Haley? Ah, I can't, my fingers can't do this. That's why I buy RTR. My fingers no longer function like that. <laughs> you know, watch me struggle with this one screw here forever. Come on, get on there. <laughs> What's this, like the ninth time I'm, I've tried to get this piece on here? There we go. Nine times a charm. Wow, huh? RC Guy Garage is actually doing a, a wrench, some kind of something? It's unheard of. I thought you paid people to wrench. Tape on your fingers? Yeah. She puts glue on them. Dude, how do you guys do these small screw things? There we go. Yeah, I guess that's it. I see you. I know you want you want attention. <laughs> I know you do. Sorry. Just when I go to do stuff, now you want attention. Tip. Put this piece on first. <laughs> oh my god. Come on. That's that's the pro tip for the day. If you get one of these ZPXs and you want to use the uh stock body, put put these black bars on first before you put the back wall in. Because otherwise you're gonna end up with uh, a little bit of interference here. And also take off all your uh, take off all your film, all that stuff. Just doing it backwards. There we go. Sweet. That's easy enough. Now, this goes together way easier than I thought. This is obviously, this is all just temporary. I'm just kind of just piecing it together real quick just so we can kind of get an idea, I guess, of what it looks like other than what it shows on the box. See how much of a pain in the neck it is. So number one, you got to have tiny fingers. Well, there goes one screw. That's gone forever. Or what you do, take a pair of needle nose. Use a needle nose to put them on.
the uh, tiny little screws are 1.5s, if that matters to anybody. Come on. I do not have the patience for this. I just want to rip this thing. That's all I want to do. A disaster here. Come on. Get on there. There we go. Now I got it. I hope. Nope. These parts are just way too damn slippery. These fasteners are like wicked, wicked slippery. There we go. Yay! So yeah, anyway, that's what it looks like right there. That goes onto there. Tail panel gets bolted onto here. Somehow. No, tail panel gets bolted onto here. Like that. Here's your tail panel right there. And then uh, this fits under here somehow. What the heck does this do? Does this go on top? I don't know what the hell this does. <laughs> I have no idea, guy. I go under here. Does that fit inside me? Oh, wow, it actually goes inside? What? Nah, does it really? Oh, wow, it does. What? What? Nah. How does that piece go on? Looks like it goes bolts on somehow under there. Does it go on top? Nah. Oh, it does. Oh, sh shoot. It goes like that? Wow. All right. So there you go. That's how that goes. That goes on top of there. Then the tail panel goes on to there. Look at that. It's done. That's what it looks like. All set. It's all built. Ready to go. Let's put a servo in it, throw the electronics in it, and rip it tomorrow. All these parts right here, these are just spares. You don't, you don't actually need these. You throw those away because uh, they weigh more than one of these wheels. Done. Ship it. Dude, totally lethal thoughts, man. <coughs> What's my computer doing here? Paul Clancy, you like the workbench? This workbench? It's pretty cool, if that's what you're talking about. Sorry, I, I like, obviously, because I was... She wants to fart in your face. Yeah, dude, she does. Oh, my God. Dude, that would be terrible. I'd probably puke. If that ever happened, dude, oh, it would just be all over with. No, I'm just gonna keep it white. I'm not. I'm not gonna keep this body. 
This body is literally just for putting it together and, and ripping it like once or twice. I'll probably just put a couple of batteries through it and then, then it's literally like I'm just going to just do whatever I want to it. You gotta lose that regular smell. <laughs> yeah, no kidding, man. <laughs> yeah. You know what's funny though? It's gonna show up really sharp on the uh, red carpet. Cause that's what color the carpet is. It's a red carpet. Yeah, Daisy's a total chemical weapon, biological hazard thing. Yeah. <laughs> Brad, Brad's rolling on the ground. Gotta keep Brad going. Safe to say I don't like the body. I mean, I don't know. It's it's different. It's different. You know what I mean? It's um, it's different. Yeah, we'll throw it on, kind of like as is. I should go on, right? It's one of those ones you you put on through the front or something like that. things obviously it's this is not gonna work the front i think like the fronts yeah the front is actually a blind one it actually just slips on like just goes through like that that's the way the front is on it's a quick release so all you're doing is you're pulling two pins at the back here to be able to get this whole thing off which I, th I think that's, that's pretty cool. So that goes like that. This goes down here somewhere like this. If this thing was all bolted together, this is pretty much what it would look like right here. Come on, get off. There we go. There's the back body pins. Boom. 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 Kind of like that. Kind of, sort of. And then we'll just kind of hang that off the end right there. So there we go. The first EPX that's built. It's done, man. It's all done. Got a little bit of a body rub here. Send it. Send it just the way it is, man. There it is. Done. Finished. EPX. Boom. I think we like these wheels better, though, right? I don't know, man. I think I'll rip this body. This body actually doesn't look bad. But those wheels definitely look way better, don't they? I think those wheels look way better. Yeah, I'll finish putting this body together. I'll sticker it all up and everything. We'll make it happen. The wheels, like, just check this out. These wheels just clear. Look at that. Oh, boom. Same thing with the front. Front's got more clearance. Obviously, it's not sitting on there. Will you stop doing what you're doing? She's, bumping, she's nose bumping. What you doing? Huh? You're all soaking wet. You're all soaked. Yeah, what? I don't have anything for you. What do you, what do you, what do you want? What are you doing? What? What do you want? You're farting again. Listen to her. Get out of here. <coughs> That's it. You're going outside. You want to go back outside. You can't be doing this to me. What's wrong with you? You're killing me here. All right, come on. Let's go out. You want to go back out? Go ahead. You can go. Go ahead. Goodbye. Oh, my God. But don't eat. These wheels actually look pretty sick. I'm kind of happy with that. Oh. <laughs> oh, we're having an issue. But there you go. EPX, this is the first one built. <laughs> <coughs> yeah.
This happened so far, man. We'll get that body on there. This thing is meant, though. I am like, I cannot wait to rip this thing. Hopefully tomorrow. Dude, hopefully tomorrow I'm going to be doing a running video of this thing. At the track. Reckless Hobbies, baby. Reckless, if you're out there, why aren't you on my stream, Reckless? What's wrong with you? You should be out in my stream checking it out. Stop spending time with your family. Uh, RC guy, have I told you that the UDR has an indestructible body? Yeah, right. You mean you mean uh, destructible body? Body? Daisy is totally dropping nasty bombs, dude. Right now, the door is wide open. See? Oh, she's not constipated, Brad, man. She's letting them lie. The UDR does not have an indestructible body. You mean, you mean they're making one? It's the weakest damn body that I uh, no indestructible like that, which a lot of people use on their... Really? What? What are you talking about? You mean duct tape? Brad, you're using a lot of big words that I don't understand. She's fart ripping. Dude, she's, dude, she is ripping it. Please read your comment. Gavin, what did you say? Why don't you just re-comment? Where was it? Ugh, dude. Hey, Something about Tony just uh, flashed on my screen. What's up with Tony? Uh, what is he doing alive? I'm gonna go over. I'm gonna go over right now and give him a hard time. Right now, literally, he's doing alive. I'm gonna send him a message right now. Tony, never mind your live. Why don't you jump over to ours? Why not give him a hard time, you know? Never mind your... It's not spelling it right. Tony, never mind your live. Jump over to ours. Look at people already waiting for him. Yeah, I'll set up. I'll set up Tony's live, <laughs> so you guys, you guys can stay right here. We can watch Tony's live on my live. <laughs> Brad, you better go over and and, uh, and hang out on Tony's channel. You don't want to miss. You don't want to miss. James. Come on, Tony guy, what are you doing? You're wasting your time with your own lives. Come on, Tony. You know where it's at. <laughs> I'll leave Tony's live right on my live. Uh oh, oh, watch out. Is this like a is this like a YouTube no no rebroadcasting somebody else's live? It's like a paradox. <laughs> copyright strike, boom! You know it. Do it as soon as I end it. Boom! Copyright. <laughs> it's funny how he's got like the whole 
the whole crazy introduction and everything. That's nuts. He's got, a, hey, is going he's got a pretty on, cool guys. way of Welcome starting stuff. Another RC Conspiracies. And uh, you know where it's at. We uh, we got a couple things to talk about tonight. No real conspiracies other than that we can say the Red Cat Gen 8. Mets RC is slacking. Oh, oh, look at that. Mets, you're being called out, dude. That's kind of our conspiracy. Mets, you're being They're called out, guy. Stuff, and then they drop the photos and everything on us. And wow, that thing was awesome. Uh, got a bunch of guys in the chat already. Sorry, I'm running a little bit late. Um, had to get everything reset up for some reason. Um, and it took a little bit longer than I thought it was going to. So, uh, yeah, I've got everything back up and running. Want to make sure that I point out a couple of the guys. RC Guy Garage is in there. Chris L. Rocks, James Price, Midget Man RC. You know, we're going to talk a little bit about RC Monster Trucks today. There you go. I've got something I've actually got on my phone. Yeah, that's his studio. Mets, you're already being called out, dude. They're like, ah, oh, Mets, where are you? You're five minutes late. Oh, anyways, Lane, sorry, I wasn't paying attention. That that's that's being a jerk. My bad, man. Indestructible body for the Traxxas UDR lifetime warranty on eBay. Lifetime warranty as long as the company stays afloat, right? That's usually how it works. The Vectors had a lifetime warranty, too, until the company closed down six months later. Oh, I'm behind on his live? How? How am I behind on his live? I oh, wow. Holy crap. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> the audio is nuts. <laughs> I probably can't have his volume on, huh? Can I? It would probably, it's probably some kind of like copyright issue, right? I know I'm going to get a strike now, probably because that was there. You highly doubt they'll go under? Their bottles, their bodies are pricey. Well, what are you talking? Don't, everybody does that. Everybody just says something's pricey. Just say what the price is. That way it's easier. That way people know. Is it like 200 bucks? I'm assuming that's probably what you mean, like 200 bucks for a body, right? Because aren't they like, uh, aren't they like, I don't know, aren't they like over 100 bucks? Oh, that's nothing, dude. For an indestructible body, that's nothing. That's not bad. There you go, Tony. I, ho I hope you're happy, Tony. Your, your live is playing on my live. What's up? You know what I should do? I should just end my I should end my life so you guys can just go hang out over there. God damn it. It'll give me now that everybody's jumped off my live, now I can just work on this thing. Now I can actually put it together. And I won't feel bad. Oh, I suppose I probably could have used the wrench pack that they gave me to kind of put things together, huh? That, that probably would have made sense. Everybody left. You know it. Gavin, you just you're just repeating the same thing over and over again, man. Figure out something else to say. We we already we already know that her farts are bad, dude. Yeah, it's destructive to the brain, man. Mets is here. Mets is Mets is dueling. Mets has got Mets has got Claire going on. He's got RC. Uh, yeah, uh, Tony. I felt oh, I like literally forgot what is what's his what's Tony's thing again? CCXR CCXRC. 
you want to get the indestructible body for UDR, but just bought two Super Baja Rays. Dude, you, you blow money like it's holy crap. Like two, two Baja Rays, like brand new? Would you just, how much did you just drop on that? 2K? What do you what do you want? What I left the door open, you could go outside. I don't know what you want. What you want me to go outside with you? I'm not going outside right now. Look at her, she's literally begging. She's like, please go outside. What? What do you want? What? I, I don't understand. Oh my god, go outside! Go, go, go! Come on, come on, come on, get out there! What the hell is wrong with you? Go, go out there! Go, you stay outside! I don't want you doing that in here! You're killing me here! She goes send her over to Tony's! Let let her let her bomb Tony! <laughs> <laughs> Daisy, stop, stop. What are you doing? Why are you right here? I don't want you to share that with me. That's nasty. Don't you understand how nasty? Yeah, look at how, yeah, your tail's wagging. You're so happy. All right, I'm turning my back to you. That's, that's, I'm done. That's, that's nasty. Go, Daisy, go, dude. She's bad. Wicked bad. Yeah, she is. Do it. I'm literally, it's getting, the smell is getting pretty bad in here. I've got the door wide open now. Like wide open. Yeah, there probably is a bad thing, huh? Having Tony's thing on because I don't know what the heck, how that, how that works out. Somebody tell Tony that I'm live streaming his live stream. <laughs> Watch him get bent out of shape. Dude, you can't do that. It's against the law. Tony's a good guy. Super Rock Ray is eight. Yeah, so 16 plus. Did you buy more batteries or are you just sticking with all the batteries you got? Still 17? That's nuts, man. That's, that's I'm assuming it's because people are doing doubles, right? Like you and me. Technically, I'm doing a double. Yeah, see, actually, you don't have to leave my you don't have to leave my screen. I'll just put Tony right there for you. Right? That works. It's it's being it's being kind. Rebroadcasting Tony stream so you don't miss anything because I feel bad. Whoa. You got six ass batteries up the wazoo, right? Looks like Tony is having a ball. Why? What is he doing? See, I can't. I don't have his volume on. I just have, um, I just have the the thing going. This is a pretty nice body, though. I I, I actually, it's kind of growing on me a little bit. Ugh. Oh, Lane, hey, uh, you're pretty knowledgeable. What do you think about a radio for this thing? Should I be getting anything special or just use just a general anything? Why are you doing this, Daisy? You are now getting me soaking wet on purpose. Daisy, what are you doing? What? Why are you doing that? This is, oh, you go, go ahead. Go ahead. Get the bone. Go ahead. Get the bone. Daisy, get the bone. 
Here's you get the bone. Just go get it. Here, listen. Get your bone. Go ahead. Right here. Right here. Is that what you want? You got my leg all soaked now? Just because you want and you don't even want it. What's wrong with you? You literally just want to bomb me, don't you? A cheap fly sky? <laughs> My dog is a riot, dude. She's so bad right now. I have no, I have no idea what this dog is eating. She just had regular food. As far, oh, I know why. Oh crap. My wife made. So this is a real deal. My wife made nachos yesterday, and she reheated it today. And I had a, I had a little bit, and then I um, gave her the rest. So that's literally why she's bombing me right now. She she had Mexican. She had she had the beans, she had everything, the cheese, all the stuff that, you know, that you would get in like Mexican uh style um uh uh chips, whatever it is. You know what I'm talking about. Nachos. Good quality. Ah, I lost that. So uh, I cannot stand any kind of help with driving. I don't like ABC and I don't like the, the Traxxas version of it. Mexican dog fights. You know it, dude. She had nachos. Too hard to let Revex go go over to Tony. Tony's stuff is way better than my stuff. We're just he's actually talking about information. I'm just sitting here building a, a body for the yeah, the uh, EPX. I actually want to get it going. I thought about a Dumbo, but I'm actually I'm actually wondering should I have? I don't know. I haven't had a performance. I haven't had a performance on road car in a while. I suppose it doesn't really matter. I should just go in there with some janky remote. Or maybe I should just maybe I should just stick with a spectrum. Right? Got like a thousand of these things now. Just get a spectrum. You can just yeah, it is disabled, yeah. Maybe I should our our uh are those uh so many people complain about spectrum radios though. Why? Driving a fat infraction or anything over 70, I like it. Yeah. Well, maybe, maybe I should then. You're liking the stock wheels on the EPX? Yeah. I don't know, man. I I I like I like that right there. That that looks sharp. If these things were chrome, if these were chrome, these are things would look mint. But they're not. You know what I mean? I am gonna run it semi-truck. I'm going to set the thing up the way it should be, you know, their tires, you know, on their rims and then do my own deal, you know, do, do this deal, Mets. Check that out. Huh? Huh? Habao blue. Off-road wheels. Take the EPX off-road. Radio link has an actual working ABS brakes. Range isn't as good as Futaba or something of the sort. But, uh, Lane, using something like this, though, because this is so small, uh, range doesn't really matter because the further away it gets, the, the, the more I can't see it, right? That kind of makes sense, right? Yeah, you've been waiting for me to use these. Don't they actually look pretty good? <laughs> they don't look too bad. But I'll leave those on these rims. Paul, what are you saying? Trust me, I want my my Futaba, but ABC, just a little. I'm sure with the yes, okay, yeah. I, I mean, yeah, you, you're probably a hundred percent right because I am planning for this thing to act like a rocket. So it's 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 literally a road rocket. It does make sense, but the aftermarket radio and receiver can make your drive feel so much better. 
Like what aftermarket one? You talk were you the one were you talking about um Futaba? Lane? I can't I can't go backwards in the comments unless I use this and look at my computer. Uh Lane, so what am what am I going with with a uh with a transmitter? Don't you, you, don't you growl. You know better than that. You use Spectrum? Everybody's making me confused here. Should I just get a Spectrum receiver? I'm guessing yes. Lane guy, just tell me, should I get a Spectrum? Should I just get a Spectrum receiver for this right here and just be done with it? Just get a Bluetooth module for it and then just throw my thing on there? You've got a lot of RCs with Spectrum receiver. Go that route. All right, boom, done. Spectrum. Too late, too late. You didn't speak up fast enough. Maybe, maybe you did, but... Yeah, I'll do the spectrum because actually the my radio, my uh, my mount for can't for my camera actually fits on the spectrum remote the best. It fits on the Habao too, but it it actually definitely fits on this one way better. Tony, you're killing me here, guy. I've got my own live stream going, and I'm watching yours. It's like a paradox. I hope I don't get a copyright strike for airing your own channel. Son of a digger stream. My off? How do I know if I'm like? Oh, ah! Oh, what did I do? How did I jump out of his stream? This stupid stuff. I have no idea what the volume is going to do. Careful those copyright strikes. I think nine. Ah, that's all right. I could care less. <laughs> yeah, I'm all good. He should show you live stream. It would be it would be Inception. You should tell him that, dude. Tell him tell him the stream my stream. It would be it would be a constant, never ending loop, and it would literally be Armageddon right then. So if you want Armageddon to happen. Go tell Tony to live stream my live stream while I'm live streaming his live stream. That will create a paradox which creates Armageddon and the world is over. You know, I bet who would do that? Brad. Brad, that's your job for the day. <laughs> go get Tony. Go get Tony to create a paradox and then uh, end the uh, civilization as we know it. That would be weird. <laughs> Dude, it would be a, it would literally be a constant loop. Like my live stream could be like kitty cornered right next to his. 
Now, I know the stuff has stuff to peel off. I don't know if there's any stickers that go on that. Yep, I got to crack open the manual, see if um, see if we can get some stickers on this thing. I don't know if stickers go on the back or not. Breaking open the manual because I don't know how to do stickers. No, it doesn't. Uh, actually, yeah, there is. There actually, there's a Habao sticker that goes on there. Wow, they actually want you to spray paint something? What? That ain't gonna happen. What are you talking about? Spray paint? Gun metal? What? So there is a sticker that actually goes on here. It's just a Habao sticker. So I'm not trying to not pay attention. Daisy, why are you doing that? Honey. Honey, you're soaking wet and you literally got a rub all over me. There's no bone under here. Look at her. Look at her. How can you? You can never be angry at that face. Look at her. What? 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 Don't be upset. She internalizes everything. Gavin, what are you what are you saying? No, I'm not to. Are you saying no, you're not to me telling you that you just keep repeating that my dog's farting over and over again? Because <laughs> you are, dude. Go back in the comments. You said it a bunch of times, right? Just pay, cutting and pasting the same thing. All of us are, are seeing weirdos. Pretty much. Just having fun. Let's be real. We're mostly adults playing with toys and stickers. Hey. Nah, I don't believe that. 18. Are we losing or are we gaining? 38. What's what's 38? Your age? Mets was saying how many people are on the stream. <laughs> Dude, I just turned 48 just last month on the 30th. Where's Sway talking about age? Sway's not here. Boy, this stuff is hard to peel off. If there's stuff on here, it's not coming off, man. What the heck? There we go. There's no way that this stream is going to be any fun for you guys because I'm actually going to try and... Um, Put this like together for real now. I'm either gonna throw some stickers on. Actually, you know, what'd be funny. I wonder if I should find a diesel power sticker to put on this thing. Throw some diesel power on there.
Oh, there we go. Diesel power right across the windshield. I wonder if that would work. Ah, it's too big. Yeah, you know it, man. Diesel. Oh, well, that's the that's the stickers that are all over the um, all over the max and all over that thing right there. Diesel power right there. Diesel power in the hood. Diesel power on the side. Mega Ram runner on the back. But right on the windshield, right through the back window. I think you know that, right? Right through the back window, too. See right in the back there? And obviously on the Max, on the Max is diesel power, too. Diesel power on the side, diesel power on the front. You got the diesel power bull right there. You're 50. You're young still, man. The skull stickers. Gavin, are you the one that said you lost your dad, like um, recently? I think you, I think you said you lost your dad or something like that. Was that the other kid? Your phone, your, your daughter wants a phone for Christmas. Isn't that nuts, man? But it, it's stepping up at the times, though. You know what I mean? It was Gavin. Ah, that's terrible, man. That's got to be rough. Like I said before, man, no. None of that stuff should happen. I actually just recently lost my aunt. She was like my second mom. Sorry about your loss, Gavin. That that totally sucks, man. That's that's not cool. How long has it been? Has it been a while or is it recent? Brad, you lost your father. Lost my father 20 years ago. Yeah. And your aunt five years ago. Yeah, that stinks, man. Well, Gavin, the, the RC thing is definitely something cool, just like uh, Lane said. Definitely something cool to get into.
Oh, my battery's about to die on this. Sorry, Tony, I couldn't keep your live stream going. My battery's just dying on my phone. But that's why I've got another. Since you were five, holy smokes. Uh, this one right here. Fifty four hundred KV, the uh, thirty six fifty two max ten, just easy cheesy combo. It should rip, right? I think it'll rip. Yeah, um, Lane. Did you see the picture that I was showing people on the EPX, right? I found, you know, one of the pictures on the EPX, right? Look at the size of the ESC sitting in the frame of that EPX. Now, you know, by visually looking, you know that's not a 60 amp that's actually in there. Looks like 160 amp. So I think maybe this thing should be 6S. Yeah, it looks like a, a Max 8. I know, huh? It looks what's it looks like what's in the DBXL. <laughs> 8S. <coughs> Let's back to the stickers. Usually I use a razor blade to throw these on. I don't know where my blade is. Yep, that's why I need my blade. Come on, get off. Man, I'm not going to be good at putting these stickers on. I don't have patience for stickers. Actually, I could use this. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Of course, the stick appeals off like that, peels off the whole thing.
What do you want from me now? <laughs> what do you want? I've literally let you out every five seconds. Do you really need to go out again? There's no way. There's no way you really need to go out again. You're out of your mind, dog. This one's going to be fun. Man, I haven't done stickers in a long time. Yeah, she had um, she had nachos. I forgot, Brad. Definitely some funky stickers here.
I mean, I'd barely, I'd barely have the patience to do this. Barely. I'm surprised that I'm hanging on with for this long. Already messed up one of them. Sweet. Good enough. That's what magic markers for. Oh, check it out. Look who look who showed up to the stream. Frog City. Frog City's here. What's up? Did you go into work today or what? Yeah, right here, guy. Here. Right here. Here was work. Still on the Tony stream? <laughs> Is Tony still streaming? Is he trying to top the four hour mark? Yeah, belt drive. Yeah, you didn't see that? Look at that thing, man. That thing is a thing of beauty right here. Uh, I'm probably get a better look that way. Whoa. All right, let's see here. All right, so now we got the fancy stickers going. These are the ones you mess up. <laughs> Oh, these are clear too, or semi-clear. Yeah, these are the ones you mess up. Just like that. Wrap it around. Boom. Oh, actually didn't mess that one up. Holy crap. Yeah, the thing actually is pretty sweet, man. 
Oh, you saw the live earlier? I don't even know, dude. Fed is not just, yeah, you did, dude. Wicked bad price, too. I think she's all set now. Now she's just chilling. See? Now she's literally just chilling right here. Hey, Daisy. What you doing? <laughs> Getting the EPX all together. Look at that. Not too shabby. Couple little air bubbles here and there. It's all good. Things are going to be a little rocket anyway. You're not going to see anything. Things are just going to be flying. All right. There's some four wheel drive stickers somewhere. Oh, yeah. Right here. I think this is all set now so i think the cab's all set it's nothing on the top i don't think there is you know what nice diesel power sticking couldn't go up there all right you think like that think like skull can fit right on the top what do you think oh the blue one look at that would overtake the entire top Or you can go life, liberty, and the pursuit of horsepower. Could be right across the top. Oh, what system am I running? Right here. Fifty-four hundred kV, easy run, max ten. The uh, thirty-six fifty-two. I think it'll rip. What do you think? It's gonna rip. Which sticker? All right. Which sticker should I go with on the top here? Oh, excuse me. You got some real estate on that top. And I definitely think diesel power needs to go on here. The blue and black? Yeah, I'm kind of partial to that too. What about the uh, life, liberty, and the pursuit of horsepower though? Fog City says horsepower. Mets is, is black and blue. Yeah, what do you but what do you think about that combo? What do you think? Good combo? Red, white, and blue one. What red, white, and blue one? I don't have one of those ones. That one right here, that's just that's black, black, white, and red. Horsepower. We got two for horsepower. Brad, stop it, Brad. You agree with Fog City? Horsepower? What do you think, Matt's? Horsepower? Dude, those almost look like Aryan light bolt, uh, lightning bolts. What the heck is up with that? <laughs> All right, let's see if we can fit that on. That sticker actually fits really good on there, too, so... Oh my god, you are still going at it, dog. You're killing me. What do you think though? Yeah, I think the sticker should go that way. Alright. God, I lost the vote. I know, literally all of a sudden everybody's like, but you know what's funny, um, Matt's. Is that this one, right? You see how you got that little section right there? That actually will fit right over. The wings actually will go over that little weird thing right there, too. So 
and the skull looks like it's actually a little bit too long. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of horsepower. supposed to stick right away damn you nope come on stop sticking Too much of a perfectionist here. There we go. There we go. That looks pretty good. Not too shabby right there. Also had the uh, the skull with the pistons too. <laughs> now this right here, this at the LHS, Fog City. Oh, Fog City! Check it out. So here's the stock wheels. Nothing says America like an eagle. So there's the stock wheels, right? Focus. And then what I did is I switched them out to these bad boys. Focus. I think those look pretty sharp. Ah, dude, Chernobyl. You have no idea, dude, about Chernobyl, do you? That's what my uh that's what my note seven. I had a note seven. It was called the Chernobyl. Like, seriously? Mine actually caught on fire. I'm on the news. I got it recorded. It was a riot. Channel five was in my house. And then my note, my note eight is called Chernobyl two. <laughs> or is it called Chernobyl eight? I can't remember. It's either Chernobyl two or Chernobyl eight. But I kid you not. Let's see if I can prove it to you right now. How do you find out where the where your phone's name is? Trying to find out where. Big brother's watching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you know what's funny that i have a desire to see that place too but i want to actually see the real chernobyl i actually want to go there 
Um, where do you find the specs for your phone? Like the phone's name. You know how the phone would have a name? About phone? Yeah, right there. See? That's the name of my phone right there. Chernobyl 8. But doesn't that look sick? This sticker right here, this got messed up. I can touch that up with a little bit of a uh, magic marker. But the stickers are kind of, the, the stickers are a little bit rough uh, to kind of get on there. But they're, they're not looking too bad, though. Especially that sticker right there. That that finished off that top. It gave it a nice, nice sharp look. That was a lot of real estate in the top there. Now we can move on to, so we got the back panel all set. So we can pretty much put this back together now. So this, this part of it is actually done. So the back portion of this body actually takes the larger uh, screws, which are a two millimeter screw that actually thread into these black threaded rods, screwed into the back side here. Got to kind of do this as a tutorial. Just follow the instructions and you'll be good. I'm not following actually any instructions. It's pretty basic. Just thread your rod on there and just crank it down. Boom. Done. Same thing. Another uh, two. Thread it through your hole. Thread the rod on. Oh, what's going on, Mets? No, she's actually she's actually good now, Brad. She's all right now. I think I think she's she's done. Anybody pick up the low C mini T? Um, yeah, actually didn't, um, I forget who picked up a mini T. Thought it was somebody else besides you. Yours is in the mail. Awesome. Two runs, first run, pop the shock rod, end off. Second run, broke. Rear axle carrier. CCXRC is pretty much done. Well, he knows that he knows that my live streams are four hours anyway. So <laughs> Tony's gonna be coming over soon. Everybody prepare. So now you need one of these uh, 1.5s. With a washer. And you can all laugh at me trying to thread this in. I've got to figure some way to be able to get these nuts on here. There we go. Now I think I can actually use the Habao uh, wrench. 
It's the first time using one of their wrenches on this thing. Or actually, it's the first time using one of their wrenches ever. And it works pretty mint. If I use the right thing. Another little mini 1.5. I know, Lane, this is all so very thrilling to you. <laughs> Part of the uh, tutorial process of putting together the EPX body. Ah. You just need to have small hands, man. Do this. Real fingers can't get in there. Ah, come on. All right, let's try. Let's try that thing that I said. Maybe we can actually use the wrench, right? Maybe, maybe the wrench will work. That's a thought. Nope. Try feeding that into there, and the washer falls off. So this is the only thing that probably is going to frustrate you is literally these tiny little fasteners that are tough to get on. Third time's the charm, right? Isn't that what they say? Third time's the charm, but I have a feeling this is like more than three times trying to do this one little tiny screw here. Hey, we got it. So it does work. So the little wrench actually does work. Throw the nut inside. It'll capture it. And then just very carefully, I guess, kind of feed it into a position. That works. All right. Now that's all set. 60 tomorrow. Snow Wednesday. Thirteenth time is the charm. <laughs> Dude, there are no hammers next to me. I made sure. Out of curiosity, how long did it take you to get 1.39? Dude, I'm literally almost at uh, 1,400. Are you serious? No way. I haven't checked. Where am I right now? I'm at almost 14. Wow, dude, holy crap. 1390, two years. Casey, what's going on, guy? What am I working on? Check this bad Larry out. Look at that, dude. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of horsepower. The um the EPX came in. From Hibau. Bam. I think that's what you were asking. Or you're asking me what am I on? <laughs> I'm on dog farts right now. 2.5K is where channels take off. You are now monetized. Yes, sir. Yeah, it is a Euro Semi. Yep. Dude, check it out. 
So here, here it is with its in its stock configuration. It's actually pretty sick, man. This thing, this thing is going to be awesome. I cannot wait to rip it. I'm actually going to try and rip it tomorrow. But check out the wheels, the aftermarket wheels that I got for it already, man. Casey, focus, focus. This thing is having major issues focusing. Focus. There we go. Don't those wheels look nice, man? I think these look, look sweet. But then check this out, Casey. Habao Blue. You still have a Class A and B? Nice, man. Come on, where's Tony? Tony's, uh... Tell it, don't focus. Yeah, I know, huh? Don't focus. So you got a film, actually, that's on here, like everybody knows. It's a real tight film, too. Like, you're going to find that, you know, some pieces are trying to stay on. Wow, oh, look at that. Look at that pearl white body, man. This is sharp. Like we got it all off except one little tiny piece right here. Yeah, that's a nice white. Kind of almost thought it was a pearl. It looks like it kind of almost has a slight pearl to it. It looks like what I'm seeing is I'm seeing a slight pearlescence in the paint, which actually looks pretty cool. Or mint. WWE tonight? How come that didn't show? Oh, I know why. Sounds like he's wrapping it up. So many people have added decals to the film. <laughs> yeah, you got to take the film off. Otherwise, you don't get the uh, crisp, crispness of the paint, the beautifulness of it. So obviously, we could we could at some point go ahead and paint up this engine, which um, I might. I might detail that up a little bit. We'll see. I don't know how long the body will stay on. We'll see about that too, because obviously we have we have the optional um, body mount kit for this thing too. So. You know, we may end up um, at some point once I'm done, you know, putting this through its putting this through its paces that I have no idea what this thing is capable of. But it looks like a pretty sweet machine. Paint the outs. Oh, paint the outside of the body. <laughs> oh, no, dude. They literally paint it right. They paint. Hey, you know what? Hey, Casey, actually, what's wrong with that? When you think about it, right? Couldn't you just um, couldn't you just plastic dip it? Uh, what's it called? Plastic, plasti dip, or well, plastic coat? Wh whatever that stuff is. You know, dipping bodies. You know how you dip bodies? That actually might be pretty cool. Plastic dip, and that way you're painting the outside and you peel it off when you're done. Yeah, I should paint the end. You get scratched up too much. Yeah. 
Yeah, I hear you on that. All right, so what do we got here? So obviously, this is all for the back stuff. Trying to just figure out where these stickers are going. Ah, okay, I see, I see. So, pretty much goes like this. Pretty sure. You know what? I'm going to stand up for this. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to freak you out. I didn't mean to freak you out. You didn't have to have an episode. Ah, oh, that feels so much better. See, that's what's nice about this. You actually get to be able to stand up. At this bench. Interesting. So we've got a couple stickers that actually need to go on this, which is that EPX sticker right there, I think. Oh, no, actually. No, there's a grill sticker that goes down there. Daisy, you sound so depressed. This is just so exciting, huh? Just watching me put stickers on. exciting for me I don't know how you guys have been with this there we go that looks nice now what else we got Got headlights. We got some headlights that are going to go on here. Bottom grill, side panels, got some side stickers right here. Which is which here? That one go there? Yeah. yeah. I think that one goes there. That's a weird sticker. That's actually, that's an awful big sticker. There's a lot of clear on this thing. Look how massive, ah, look how massive this sticker is.
do this on camera so when I screw it up, you guys can laugh at me. Actually, didn't go on too bad. Actually, didn't come out too bad on that one. Got one air bubble in there, but you really can't see it. pin the bubbles yeah i know i just gonna leave it it's not worth it i'll end up, I'll end up destroying something with a pin dude oh i'll destroy it somehow Saved. Saved by the C C R K T knife. That was a save. Not too bad. It's coming out pretty sharp. Now we got whatever the heck these ones are. Ah, oh, yeah, I see that. This one should be fine. Wow, are you kidding me? Actually got that in one shot. What? Pretty close. A little messed up on that side right there, but right there lines up all right. Things are going to be going too fast away from me anyway, so good to go. What else we got? That's it. Oh no, there's two more stickers.
Not perfect, but it, it looks good. It'll look good going fast. Kind of like a 20-foot uh, paint job. Body itself is actually pretty nice. All right, I think that's all set now. Now, pretty sure we can uh, we can screw on the back piece, right? The back panel. We got to put the pieces on. Uh, we probably got to put stickers on this too, right? That piece is all set. Now I got to peel this off. Brad, are you still are you still on my dog, dude? <laughs> She's good now. No more. She's all set now. Dude, need Diesel Brothers tonight? Yeah, actually, D Diesel Brothers is on tonight. I need my diesel power gear that I ordered. Every five dollar entry. Gets you a ticket to winning their giveaway truck. Your CCX, uh, RC, your CCX RC stickers, you have to cut them out. What do you mean they're not die cut? That's a bummer. How much were they? Were they were they inexpensive to buy? Look at that. You probably can't see it because it's blown out. There you go. That looks that looks a little bit better, huh? I should probably leave that light off. What do you think? Should I leave that light off? It almost seems like the camera looks better now. Seven bucks. And super small. Yeah. That's a bummer. Uh, excuse me. All right. What stickers are going on this thing? Anything? Ah. Nothing. No. This, whatever the heck this is. Oh, okay. For the body pins. Oh, this will be fun to line up. Um, anybody know if, if the lighting is okay now? Or should I put that light back on? On my end, it's, it looks different. Wow, this actually, that wasn't that bad, actually. It came out pretty much. It's good on the light. All right. Thank you, Casey.
Dude, I really hope I get to rip this at the track tomorrow. This would be freaking awesome. Yeah, so that's it. Just that just that one sticker on that. It looks like the rest of the stickers are just going. Yeah, I don't know. Can I can I assemble this now? Yeah, it looks like I can assemble this now. Yeah, it looks like I can assemble that now. Cool. Oh, this will be easy. Say it's gonna be easy. Watch Let me drop it. Ah, look at that mint. Yeah, see, everything's going together nice now. This is looking pretty sweet. Fingers are just too. There we go. You want this truck? So, are you serious, dude? You want this truck, dude? I'm like totally pumped. Yeah, wouldn't it be cool? It wouldn't it be cool if they were crawl, man. That's exactly what I was saying. These wheels, but hey, check it out, Tony, though. Man, these actually don't look too bad. The aftermarket wheels that I actually bought a couple of months ago for this thing. <laughs> Focus. There we go. Tony, we actually were catching your live stream. It was a riot, but I didn't know if I was going to get like some kind of a copyright strike by streaming your stream. Probably would have. I think Lane was like, up, oh, get prepared. You come the copyright strikes. Oh, gone forever. I want to get this thing like pretty much done tonight. Throw the electronics in it. Obviously, the only thing that I'm missing is uh, the servo and a receiver, but that's that's easy, cheesy to do anyway. Then I got to figure out uh, what I'm going to do about a radio. Whether if I'm just going to take a radio out of something that I've already got, or or if I'm just going to um, see if I can get a spectrum receiver at 
uh, the LHS. Just to see how that goes. All right. Final process, man. The end, the end product or the end piece, the tail panel. This is the last piece right here. And then we'll be able to throw the top on and Why? Who, who kicked? Who'd you who'd you kick? Creative Fish Studio. Throw these stickers on without it being on the body. Where do the lights go? Oh, they're, they're wanting this back panel to be black. Well, mine's going to be pearl. Hey, um, Matt, if you are you still here? Uh, needs a logo first. On that one. Um. What do you what do you think about doing a um, one of those uh, uh, streamyard uh, things next time? Because like this is really dumb. Like at least like if we had a couple of people that could actually talk when other people are like doing stuff, at least somebody's like doing something. And I I feel like I'm being wicked ignorant on this uh, live stream. And that's one thing that I do not like. I do I don't like ignorance. I just feel like I'm ignoring people, and I think that's wrong. We should try it. Sounds like a good idea, man. Can't figure out how these back lights are supposed to go on here. These back lights are kind of funky. Do they literally wrap? It's almost like they wrap on the top of the body. Does a picture show anything? See, a picture don't show the back. None of the pictures show the back. 
So I don't know how the but the lights are supposed to be on the back. See how when you look at the instruction manual, it kind of just gives a location, just goes place it here. But the contour of the body is kind of like funky. Oh, wait a minute. No, you can't be serious. You think my fingers can get in there? How the heck are you supposed to get a sticker in there? Holy smokes. Here's a good one. The sticker actually goes like inside this thing right here. Just remember, Mets, whatever we try on my channel is going to work on yours. You'll already have first-hand knowledge. <laughs> and whatever whatever gets screwed up, you would be like, yeah, I already tried that. Oh, wow, wow. What? I actually got it in the first shot. Holy crap. Nice. That actually came out. Oh, wow, I'm surprised, man. Check it out. I did it. I feel all accomplished now. Uh, those stickers actually weren't that bad. I was complaining about nothing. They actually, uh, it's a flat enough surface where, you know, I mean, it's not perfect. That side looks a little bit better than that side, but, you know, from the back and because the thing's going to be going by it like 100 miles an hour anyway, it'll be fine. All right, so that's it for those stickers. Uh, those stickers. Spickers. That's it for those stickers. I can't even talk. So those stickers are all set. It looks like they've got like they've got other stickers on here, but they're really not stickers. It's almost as if if you wanted to use these, like they've got like EPX, EPX, but these ones are not die cut out of this uh, thing. So it's like what you'd probably have to do is take a razor blade and just cut these out yourself if you wanted to put these EPX, because these are actually pretty cool stickers right here. Like that EPX sticker right there, that should be a sticker, and it's not. So you could make those two stickers and place them somewhere. And then obviously, uh, electric truck, uh, Habao Racing, be able to, I mean, they're doubles. I have no idea why these aren't die cut out of here, but you could do that. Just take a razor blade and cut these out with a straight edge. That way you can actually use them. And then uh, same thing on here. There's, there's a bunch of, you know, other Habao stickers and like, what the heck are these blue things? Oh, those are actually cutouts. All right, so those blue things go somewhere. I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything in the manual here that, that showed where those blue stickers go. Maybe you just like figure it out on your own or something. Yeah, there's like these weird little blue stickers that it doesn't say any anything about putting those anywhere. So maybe you can figure out putting them somewhere. So it looks like we got maybe they're not die cut out. No, that they are. That one is. Those so those two down there, those are actually cut out. But the rest of them, the rest of them I don't think are. Like you got another another nice uh silver uh Hebao sticker right there. You could put somewhere. Same thing, these two stickers down here, if you wanted to cut those out with a razor blade. The EPX stickers, again, right there. Cut those out with a razor blade. That would be pretty cool. I don't know what these little blue... What these little blue things are. The two on the very bottom of the uh, eight... The two on the very bottom are actually die cut out, but the rest of them aren't. So, I don't even know what those are anyway. Maybe it's like it's... um, You know what it could be? Maybe they were thinking like door handle or something. But when you look at when you actually look at the box, the box doesn't show anything about any door handle, which I think it's it's right about there. 
And it's almost as if the sticker could like fit there, like if you wanted to. But I don't know. So looks like we're done. We're done with the body. Now we can screw on the actual uh, tail panel with such just uh, four screws. We're almost done. Hey, look at strangers here. What are you doing? You are sleeping. She's farting. I know. No, like you no, don't. No, I could smell it when I walked in. Are you serious? It's that bad? Yes. Yeah. She's been yeah. so horrible. Uh, finishing up the, the body on this thing. Put all the stickers on it. And now I'm just kind of bolting it, bolting it on, on alive. You know what? Uh, actually, that's that's um, that's that's Sam Metz. That's my daughter. What? You're being so attached. What? what? She is wicked. Look at her. I know. She had to like, she had to like put her head on my foot. You're being especially clingy today. Yeah, she is, isn't she? You're especially clingy today. What is your problem? Are you sad? Yeah, don't bite my nose. <laughs> Give me your nose to bite. Hi. They sound alike. Who, what, her and I? Uh-oh. <laughs> hmm. Casey says, hi, Sam. I said hi. Oh. I don't know if I was being loud. I think they do. They do. Yeah, you're a good girl. So one of the one of the things that we're gonna do next is we're gonna um one of the next videos is we are going to hopefully <clears throat> do an unboxing with you on your car. That'd be cool. Do you hear that? She's like, okay. Lane, all right, man. It was awesome having you come by. Oh you watching me struggle trying to put these little fitting screws and no. Stupid things together. No. We'll see you on the next one, man. Chill out. Lay down. Lay. Lay down. You gotta chill out. Lay down. Is she getting all amped? Yeah, she scratched my neck. Ooh. Mm -hmm. See, she's doing the hunter thing lately. You notice that? Ah. Oh, gone forever. Oh, there goes the washer. What a mess. These like these fasteners are so tiny, Sam. Yeah. Like it would be better off you doing this than me. Yeah. How's the roads? Is it like crazy rain outside? Like flooding and everything? I mean, I was told that it was a quote unquote a monsoon outside, and then I went outside and I was like, Are you moving? Because it yeah, wasn't really yeah. that bad. You know what's crazy? It has a few times because I had the door open so that the dog so the dogs could go out that intersection the place that the intersection by uh Road. yeah you know how that always floods yes like one half of it's completely flooded though wow like the entire thing yeah. other than that not too bad it's not that bad well that's good If this what's up guy garage can use Final Cut, so can yeah, absolutely. If anybody, if if I can use it, anybody can. Tony uses it, nice. and he's uh he's actually a. a I forget what he said he what he does for real work, but it has something to do with um, not filmmaking. What did he What did he say? What did he say he does? What did Tony say that he does for a living? Videography or something like that, or something. I thought he said something along those lines.
This isn't coming out pretty bad. Isn't coming out pretty bad? Wait, did I say that wrong? What? 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 what how? This isn't how do? I... Coming out so bad. Oh, this isn't coming out so bad. Yeah, this isn't coming out pretty bad. Stop! What is your problem? Why? Do she's you... like super, like you said. She's super attached. She's been like. I'm clingy. Look at her. I'm clingy. I'm clingy. She's just happy. Right. I'm clingy, baby. Video producer. Oh, he's still here. Dude, what are you doing still here? Yeah, so he's in, he does filmmaking. It's, it's pretty crazy. That's why his um that's why his uh stuff looks good. What? What? Because he what? probably has the eye for it. What? 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 I know you and your little underbite. Yeah, I know. Stop doing the scratch. You know her other two siblings are the same way? What, underbites? Yep. Or clingy. <laughs> underbites. I doubt. You know what's funny? I think because of we, how we've raised her, I bet she's, you know, she's that unique, like Hunter. Mm. You know what I mean? A certain amount of unique. Like, recently her doing the Hunter uh, yawns, mm. you know? This body is actually, now that now that everything's bolted together, this body is actually, this thing is solid. Like, the Lexan on this, or whatever the plastic is that they use for this thing, this is a, it seems like a very resilient uh, material. But now that everything's bolting together, now that we have side pieces and overlaps, and the way, like, when you think about it, you have like this whole section of Lexan or body or whatever the heck it is overlapping a large section. It's creating a very rigid uh, body. I'm telling you, man, I don't know. I don't know why more people don't know about this company. Maybe because it's not named Traxxas or something like that. But this stuff is wicked piss off. We could this up. <laughs> oh, check out the sticker that I what put on top here. <laughs> Life, liberty, and the pursuit of horsepower. It's actually one of the diesel power stickers. You know, from the diesel power. These ones. Oh, yeah. So, that actually came out really mm -hmm. nice. Mm -hmm. I, I got to say, I do like the way this body is coming together. 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 And to get an idea, right? So right now, I'll show you. This, I'll show you the body going on right now. Why it's kind of called that, like quick release. So you basically drag the body. Is this in shot? Yeah, I gotta turn this light on. Then didn't change anything. So what you do, right, is you drag basically the body over, and the pins just. The pins just, honest, they, they do they do line up as long as you like, as long as you actually line it up. Come on. Where are you? It's like the wheels are getting in the way. Probably helps if you uh, actually look at what you're doing. But you just drag it over, and the pins just are basically retained right there. And then obviously the bottom or the back just kind of just drops into place, like bam, and there you go. And then you just pin it. You pin it on the back side, and that's it. And it's the way the way this thing is on here, like to explain the body's tightness. Like there's no rattle up front. You know what I mean? Like there's no there's no body pin rattle. And I think it's because these are like um, when you look at these pins, they're like cone shaped. So they actually tighten up the further the body comes on. It actually like tightens up the body. So the body's like really solid. Like listen to that. Listen to how that sounds. You don't hear any body rattle, you know. And obviously it's covered up once we bolt, you know, this top onto there. You know what's funny is I wonder why what would be kind of cool is if they made... um. 
if they made a uh, a top, right? Like, why couldn't they? Why couldn't they make another top that um, basically fits another piece that bolts onto here, but that's you know lower, lower down, like kind of like almost like a low profile windshield, kind of almost giving this you know, that a different, I guess you want to say like a different look, you know what I mean? That might be something to uh, think about on that. So now we can, um, we can bolt this on. That's by uh, bolting on the two screws, wherever they are, this little uh, 2.0, these 2.0 screws right here, going in through the back side here. Yeah, this is a uh, pretty rigid body now. Oh, I can't believe I actually wrenched on a video for like it's been a long time. And this isn't really wrenching, I mean it's just like just putting a body together. It's like we're working on an RC but not. It's working on the body of it. thing i will say man it's just these these screws these fasteners whatever are just so tiny it's the only thing that i'm struggling with we'll load that up like that
Done. Now, we actually have some extra real estate here, I think. Throw on some other stickers somehow. Let's see what we got here. Yep, that's going to go right there. Although it's a white sticker, isn't it? I bet it's not clear, is it? Nope. Yeah, that'll be alright. Brad, you, 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 you're doing that thing that, that we talked about before, that you don't know when to stop, dude, you're good, man, don't worry about it, just chill out, enough on the dog. Got a nice diesel powered DP sticker right there that I'd love to go on this thing somewhere. Maybe you could get it actually to go right across the windshield. It actually might be pretty cool. Yeah, maybe not. 
I'd like to have it kind of like wrapped up here somehow, but I think it's too much. I could tighten it up, put the diesel and the power closer to the DP, but I think the DP is just too big for that. Although we do have triple stickers here. So we could do that because I'm a symmetrical kind of guy. So we've got the symmetrical stickers that we could probably throw on the sides. DP right there, diesel power. Like on the sides, like, you know, like right here. You could throw a DP. Maybe like, uh, I guess the black. All right here. All right in there. Oh, the thing actually looks pretty cool. I actually think I like it. Now that this thing is actually together and I'm seeing it in my hand, that's a pretty sharp body. And it's 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 extremely rigid, man. I'm telling you, the, the combination of the thick and thickness of this Lexan and then all these parts and pieces overlapping each other and then being bolted together, it um it's got a it's got a nice feel to it. It's it's pretty uh pretty solid. I like it. I like it. And we only have a couple extra parts, but they might not be extras. I don't, I don't know what they could go to, but whatever. Diesel, diesel power. Who? Who knew? <laughs> so I missed it. Was it white? Was it painted? Pre-painted white? Yeah, it was pre-painted white. It's actually a, uh, it's a pearl white. It's pretty sharp. We got the uh, diesel power sticker back there, right there. It actually came out pretty mint. We got another diesel power sticker right there. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of horsepower. Mets got overruled on that one. Overruled. But yeah, this thing's actually looking pretty sweet now. I don't know. Might leave it the way it is. I think I might want to kind of put something here, but I don't know. I did notice some odd oddity here. Uh, there was a little bit of a uh, wheel interference, but you know what it might be? It might be the fact that my wheels are the offset on my wheels are different than the offset of the originals. So. Yeah. So my wheels actually bring the wheel out a little bit further, which actually probably would be good for road racing when you think about it, because you're extending out that your wheel track. So I don't know. We'll rip it. We'll rip it stock anyway, because I am going to glue those ties, put the foams in, do all this stuff. But you can see like when you saw originally the condition of those foams, like like what everybody knows, this is common knowledge, but this is also part of the Habao way of uh, me doing a video, is that uh, the foams were stuffed inside the tires, obviously just for packing. But once you take them out and you let them sit for a little while, they will relax to their original state. It just takes some time. So when you saw these, these were pretty all, these were crushed. These were all bent up and just, you know, way mangled out of shape. But um We'll throw these in and, and glue the ties on and yeah, the thing will rip. This thing is going to rip. Green. Yeah, I do. You like that? <laughs> you got the blue tie right here. The blue tire on the rim, the Habao blue, you know, I thought this would actually be pretty cool. I like you like that, <laughs> Bill Perry. But there's your green wheel. These ones actually poor. Uh, these ones are sucked in more. The offset actually on these wheels is um, yeah. These ones are actually stepped out a little bit further. These ones are more inset. Mm. 
You have to put your head right where I am, don't you? Hi, huh, sweetie. Don't you? So I, I think this actually came together pretty damn, pretty damn good. Um, biggest thing, obviously, you know, with somebody, you know, when you got, you know, fingers like that, that don't really uh, manipulate small things like that, can be kind of a pain. But we'll throw the throw the greenies on. See what that looks like. No interference, that's nice. <laughs> that actually looks pretty cool. So it looks like we got to do just a very minor amount of trimming on the body. Um, what I'm seeing right now, we have a little bit of interference, pretty sure, uh, right there. We got a little bit of interference right there on that section of the body. That's a little bit of minor trimming on that. Um, same thing on this side. And what we'll do is we'll be increasing just the wheel well opening just a touch on there. Um, and then same thing on the front. We got a little bit of interference on the front right there, so we'll trim that a little bit. Just to kind of give that more of a round opening, you can see it's actually kind of uh, it's trimmed right there. It's got kind of like a funky funkiness to it, but um, we can go ahead and we'll trim that. We'll trim this right here. Same thing on the other side. We'll trim that a little bit. Um, yeah, there you go. Um, it actually looks pretty good with those wheels. So that'd be that'd be funny to rip that like that. But here you go. Here's a stock look right there. Is the body pins? They even give you um, little foam. It's like the little foam saver things that go on right there. So I like the gold pins too. But you know what we do? What we'll do is because I've got my own pins, and because this is a uh, habal. We got we got blue pins, we got red pins, we got dude, we got we got all kinds of pins here. Look at we got sharks, we got we got the festive colors going on here for pins. We got purple pins, we got silver pins, green, black, red. The blue doesn't really match, it's not the right blue. But whatever. We got the uh, we got the gold. Maybe we'll just use the gold for now. Put that down like that. Same thing right there. Bam. So a little bit of uh, mono bo uh, minor body trimming, and um, we'll be good to go.
But there you go. There's the uh, Hibao semi truck. Body's all on, all bolted together. That's a good shot right there. Yeah, that looks, that's sick. I like that. That's pretty sharp. I like it. So what are we running on another four hour live stream here? Holy crap. Oh, it just turned midnight. Might be a good time to end the live stream. Still got to, um, so for this beast of a thing, you know, it's all in the camera angle. Tony knows. You got to look right. Um, so we do have to uh, electrify that. And that's going to be with this uh, Max Run or Max Easy Run. Max Easy Run. The Hobby Wing Easy Run Max 10 with the uh, 3652 5400 kV motor, which I think is actually going to be absolutely perfect for this thing. Uh, this thing, if you, you know, if you're wondering if is this thing going to rip? Yeah, of course it is. Um, as far as a radio system, I think we've uh, figured out that I'm just going to end up using my spectrum radio uh i will get the bluetooth module for it and i'm just going to get another um i'm going to get a spectrum receiver uh so i can obviously just you know bind it up and and be done with it and then you know people were saying you know well at least you'll have abc you know if you're ever exceeding certain amounts of speed and i get that i'm not an abc kind of guy but it makes sense you know just kind of you know use it i mean if it's there Use it if you want it, kind of thing, whatever. So, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this live stream. It was basically just, you know, setting up the Habao. Yeah, there you go. Habao EPX uh, race truck, race semi truck. And uh, this thing is, like, even when you want to feel, like, the, the weight of it right now. I mean, look at that. And then we got the, uh, we got the optional wheels on this side. We got, like, a whole bunch of different wheels. We got these wheels that I eventually want to throw on. Uh, we got these wheels, which if you know who I am, you know what I'm going to do with this. Uh, and then we've got, we've actually got my directional aqua treads, which I think, uh, where'd those go? Where's my aqua treads? What are they going? We just, we just got a bunch of wheels like these ones. Same thing. We're going to rip these too. Um, just a bunch of just small little wheels that I've kind of been, um, saving up for this, this bad boy here. Where are my wheels? What's going on? Oh, yeah, they are. These ones. So my aqua tread tires right here, which these are, you know, I don't know how directional it really matters. It's literally just a small little RC car, but supposedly these are directional tires. It does have the arrow right there. So direction of rotation for this particular tire. Um, aqua tread pattern right there. Kind of like almost like the older school vet vet wheels. That's that focus. You know what I mean? Like, you know, some of the some of the vet wheels that they would come stock with, just a directional kind of like vet looking tread pattern. So I don't know. But anyways, uh, like I was saying, thank you for coming to the live stream. There were actually a, a bunch of people on, man. This is actually getting pretty cool. Everybody's uh, hanging out. It's it's literally becoming a hangout, which is is kind of what it what it should be. You know, I just wish there was a way for me to pay. Yeah, the Z06. You're right. I wish there was a way for me to pay more attention, and that maybe is one of those things where I have to consider throwing a couple more wrenches in there. Asterion, he's pretty much um, he's been non-existent lately. He is he is a uh, moderator, but um sleep time is definitely you know it's, it is more important because he's on the other side of the planet so it kind of it, it you know it just it's not working out for him as far as you know that's concerned so but um i will have to you know consider another wrench at some point 
Um, but yeah, this is literally going to be my, like what Bill Perry says right here. Um, this is going to be my first on-road car since my mid to late teens. So I haven't had any interest. And then when I, when I, when I first saw this thing and got wind of it, I was like, you know what? I want it. I mean like that, if I want an on-road car and I want to drift, I didn't even know I was going to drift. Like literally me and drifting, that's not what I do. Um, but after seeing that video with the red cat, whoever it was driving, they were like drifting underneath a, uh, a sitting bench, you know, like a bench that somebody sits on. They were drifting underneath the legs of the bench. And for some reason, I was just like, you know what? I actually want to try that. So right here, I thought, what better than to throw drift tires or drift wheels onto this um, EPX and turn this also into a drifting truck? So not only is it a road racer, but this thing will also be a drift monster. Everything's a monster, right? This thing's sharp. You got to admit, it's um body, the body, putting the body together like that, uh, it's very solid. The Lexan itself or whatever this plastic is, I'm assuming it's Lexan. I don't know. It's um pretty strong. It, it's, it's got a good thickness to it. I'm not seeing, I mean, I am seeing like a couple of tiny little weak areas. But those tiny little weak areas are actually covered. They're actually in the the airfoil vents or the air vents that, you know, like they're supposed to cool the rear brakes. <laughs> but uh, this this is a sharp, sharp truck. Um, I do like the white. Um, I don't know what we'll do. We'll probably just rip it as is and see what it what it's like. You know, it's like a, it's like a brick. <laughs> it's like a brick going through the air. You know, I don't see the aerodynamics in, in that, but it'll be interesting to know if this thing can actually jump. I know it, these aren't supposed to jump, but I don't know. I'm ready. I'm ready to try some stuff with this thing. I know the body will get hung up. If you land wrong, man, it'll be like, bam. But whatever. This thing's just awesome. I, I've got nothing bad to say about it. Little bit of minor trimming on the uh, rear wheel right there. Little bit of minor trimming, and that's not even that's not even because of that wheel. Because if you look at the factory wheel too, it's it's pretty damn close. Um, compression wise, it's fine, but uh, the factory wheel, even in the front, just hangs up just a touch right there. So we'll just do a little bit of minor trimming right on there just so to make it so that that wheel can actually turn you know look kind of like it's supposed to so but uh that's it i'm just gonna uh, end the live stream just like i always do uh everybody thank you for coming it's always awesome we're definitely getting uh yeah ken block I, the, the thing as soon as i go to read it, it disappears drifting is so fun hbi ken block i'm able to do more than half throttle do a full 360 indoor parking garages are awesome for drifting yeah i bet it is i bet it is no keep going brad stop it <laughs> brad you're crazy man let them wrenches fly yeah i mean i would but dude it's it's 12 o'clock the, the live stream is literally like borderline going on four and a half hours. Can't can you see my eyes are tired? I could go, dude. No, go five hours. I didn't see that one. 4S? Oh, it's what's 4S for this thing? ESC amount of time. 6S. Rock that AVC. Yeah, I don't I, I I don't like ABC, but um Lane kind of made a you know made made kind of a point. You know, just you already got the radio, just grab a receiver, at least you'll have ABC if for, for some reason you need it. Which I, I probably won't. Five's the charm. 
I haven't done a five hour live stream yet. You guys are sucking me in, man. If I if I do a five hour live stream, I definitely have to have another iced tea. I gotta clean up. It's such a mess in here. Like I'm not even I'm not even cleaning up as I go. You guys are killing me here. You guys are killing me. You want me to keep going? Do how do you how do you guys want to stay on this? This is nuts. Don't you guys have better things to do than to stay on a live stream? <laughs> You're killing me here. Five, five, such charm. You can what? You can buy the AVC receivers are twice the price. <sighs> yeah, but what's what like what's a what's an AVC receiver go for? I know I'm doing the bad thing right now. I'll just buy it from the hobby shop, but it's just a curiosity. Okay, Google. How how much is it for a Spectrum AVC receiver? Here are some results from the web. Wow, 80 bucks? Oh! Yeah, I guess they are uh, twice the price. There you go, right there. Maybe I don't need a crazy receiver like that. <laughs> Holy crap. I didn't realize it was that much. That's <laughs> six channel. <coughs> what do I need a six channel receiver for? Is that the only way they come? Spectrum, the leader in spread spectrum technology. Here's a, here's a four channel. That has AVC. Maybe I should look at what you guys are saying. You guys know more about this stuff than I do. I'm the mechanic. You guys are the knowledge. Hey, how about that? That's a good one. That's a good one right there. I'm the mechanic. You guys are the knowledge base. I'll work on stuff. You just tell me what to do or what you want. I think there was something on my glasses or something. So what are people saying? Spectrum for the win always at 80 bucks? Yeah, but what like what spectrum receiver should I get? Yeah, I know, but but Brad, that that's that's getting another that's getting another receiver. Dude, I already have like I've got receivers littered all over this bench right now because I have too many. I gotta I gotta stop it with the receivers. I'm gonna. I'm literally should start doing giveaways on receivers that I've got. I mean, not receivers, transmitters. Jesus, transmitters. A four channel is great. SRS four twenty is that what it is? With AVs, they right. Uh, of course, currently unavailable. We don't know when this item will be back in stock, if it ever is. Oh, they got a five channel there. Oh, no, that's the radio. Spectrum. Surface 4. SR215 done. Okay, Google. Spectrum SR215. Here you go. That's not what I said, though. SR215. Oh, a two channel? Yeah, but if I want to do lights, because don't these, don't these, uh, 
Don't these remotes have a third channel on it? Like this one right here. Isn't this the third channel? Right there. Isn't that the third channel for these Spectrum radios? Pretty sure it is. It's a three-position switch. So I'm pretty sure that's the... Um, well, actually, that one's a three-position too. What the hell is that? Yeah, that's the auxiliary. So that is the that is the third channel right there. I'd like to... I, I think I would like to have a three-channel only because... You know, I don't know. If I go to put lights on, it would be kind of cool to be able to shut them off, uh, turn them on, shut them off kind of deal. Wait, what spectrum is that? It's the uh, DX2E. Lights are awful. Yeah, it all depends upon what they are. What if I want to get cop lights for it? Strobes. Some blue and red flashy things. yeah dx2e yep do i want waterproof i suppose with this it doesn't matter because i'm not going to ever run that in the rain that's that's definitely not a, a rain vehicle all lights stop working yeah well after 100,000 hours. Hobby King switch for lights. Yeah. What do you mean? Like um, a light controller from Hobby King? Is that what you're talking about? What do you mean on road is better than basher? What do you mean? I can't keep the my lights working. What on a on a basher? Creative. Just gonna call you CFS. Hey CFS, what are you what are you talking about? You can't keep your lights working more than one run. You mean on a basher? Dude, the lights that are in that thing, that's that's literally a hacked together setup. And the, the pounding that those lights have been through, nothing has happened. One of them's out because I did a crappy job soldering it. Other than that, all the other ones are absolutely mint. And when I tell you that that is like, that thing's a rat rod. That right there, that Habao MT2, that's my rat rod. That thing, dude, that thing punched a boulder. When I when I say punched, it was full speed. It was, it was a boulder. I swear to God, it had to have been like about this big. At least that's what it looked like. It punched the boulder up into the air. And that's when I burned out the motor because um, the, positive, the positive wire to... Um, See the, I think it was the main wire, uh, grounded out on the pinion because the uh, the uh, gears of death got a hold of the wire as it landed. I've also got this right here. Where's my Where's my light? I get this light bar right here. There you go. <laughs> Holy crap. That light bar literally goes end to end. Could actually mount it right there. Check it out. That would be nuts. Mount that right there. Mount it right there. I don't know. Just having some fun. You you know it, man. But that's that's the way you got to do. It. I mean, look at look at look at 
Look at the uh, look at the rat rod there. Thing's awesome. Tacky. That'd be mint. I don't want to cover up the sticker though. Look <laughs> how big that light bar is. Could mount it off of the bars in the back. Boom! I could inset it actually into the body. Nah, I'm just kidding. That's actually this is actually I bought this for the um I bought this for the uh Mojave. Fits perfect. I just gotta I just gotta hook it in. And it'll be good. Mounts actually right underneath. I might cut the uh section of the the armor off right there. Fit the light right inside, bolt it in, zip tie it, whatever. Inset it like the Tesla truck. There you go. If that's the case, I should just do LED strips and stick it on. The stick on LED strips, that'd be good. All right, RevX. I don't know if I'm going to stay active. Dude, this is literally like, holy crap, four and a half hours of live stream. Tony left us like years ago. He's like, I can't, I can't hang with these guys. These guys are all nighters. Go to bed. Yeah, I know. Huh? I probably should. But it came out pretty mint, though, huh? Kind of got to keep things together. I'm, I'm actually starting to lose stuff here. Um, we ended up with a couple of extra parts, which are not really like, I, mean, I don't know if they're extra parts or not, but we'll keep that stuff right up there. We got the pinion. I do want to electrify it. Obviously, I'm not electrifying it tonight. It, it maybe would have been nice if I, if I did. But... We'll throw the body pins in. Keep it nice and tight. But there you go. The uh, Hibal APX. Uh, body's all set other than just a little bit of trimming. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll electrify it tomorrow. And um, who knows? Maybe uh, you know what's funny is that the uh, the track, the 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 wireless at the track sucks. Um, I gotta talk the owner into seeing if we can do some, or he can do some kind of uh, wireless boosting or something. Because as soon as you get like twenty feet from the main door, the signals just, dude, you are still here. Thought we lost you a long time ago. Kind of looks like a trash can panda truck. <laughs> uh, the thing's cool, man. What are you still doing here, guy? It's time to wrap it up, man. Those wheels tie. Which ones? The blue ones right there? These ones? The blue and green. <laughs> or the other ones? Well, either way. Either way, the uh, EPX is done. And uh, I'm done as well. It's it's time to wrap this up. I hate LEDs. Yeah. I love LEDs. My truck, dude. I tell you, you say you hate LEDs. If you saw my truck at night, you'd appreciate LEDs because it looks like you're looking into a welding flash. How bright, like when I throw my light bar on on my truck, man, and I'm plowing, you can see for miles. Yes, look up. Hot Wheels rig heat. <laughs> Blue, green. Cameras hate lights. Yeah. Yeah, they do. Yeah, like I should shut this light off. Cameras hate lights. Is that better? Does that look like garbage? No, I can't tell. Lens, fl ah, lens flares are good, though, man. I like lens flares. <laughs> I have no idea. All right, we're going to shut it. We're going to shut it down. So, um, anyways, like I usually say, everybody, again, thank you for coming to the live stream. 
this live stream was literally just, I guess, I don't know, about kind of like the EPX, but it's four and a half hours of just, well, four hours and 40 minutes. This is definitely the longest live stream so far. Maybe next time we'll go for a five hour live stream. I don't know. But anyways, um, yeah, I know. I know. You want you you want to go to sleep too, huh? Yeah. We'll end it. We'll end it on on this little girl right here. Huh. We'll end it on you. Yeah. End it on you, huh, sweetie. Stop clawing me. Don't do that. You're gonna unplug the camera. She's literally look at her foot. Oh, it's on the camera. Get out of here. Stop your farting. Get out of here. All right, that's it. I'm out of here. She's already like she's already farting. <laughs> Holy crap. All right, that's it. We're we're ending the live stream now. I gotta get out of here. Oh, oh, get out, go, get outside, go, 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 get out there, go, 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 Daily, get out there, holy, oh my god, I thought she was done, I'm done, oh, what the hell, dog, you're killing me here, what the heck, I literally can't, I can't be here, what are you doing to me? Haley, you're fine. You're not doing anything. <laughs> Dude, it's nasty. All right. I am ending it on that. So, again, like I said, thank you, everybody, for coming to the live stream. Uh, we're going to end it on this EPX. We'll give it a show. Maybe we'll end it, like, right there. How do I move the mouse over to it? Boom. See ya.